Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Your online activity shouldn't be public, so protect yourself today at expressvpn.com slash let's play. Jabroni. Hello, Achievement Hunter is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Keep your location private from strangers you game with online at expressvpn.com slash off topic. Welcome. I'm your host, Michael Jones. Joining me this week, we've got Jeremy Dooley, Jack hey. Patillo, Lindsey Jones, no relation, and Alfredo Diaz. Hey, oh. Uh, what up? This is uh, episode Yo. 231. Oh, also, we're live right now on RTTV. We are. You can join us in the chat. Let's head on over to roosterteeth.com, create a free account, and then you can just click, 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 type away and be like, type what up? Well, and then we'll see it. right now. I'll yeah, be real. I'm getting that, that chat. That little nerd popped up, and I I'm thought there. someone was coming to attack Jack on his screen. Oh, Jack, oh, yeah. the, the lower third is attacking Jack. He came after me. <laughs> we'll get you. It'll creep. It'll creep up and get you. That's why it creeps. Here we are, yet again, another off topic from home. I like our it's become, setup. It's become the new norm. I am yeah. bottom right leg. Yeah, dude, your your leg is hell. Bottom. I yeah, I'll, like, be a, no I'll be a foot. right leg. I feel like Jeremy should be the other leg. Spade. Why? Just like a sturdy base? Yeah. yeah sturdy. Although, yeah. but if you and Jack were the legs, they'd be a fucked up body. It'd be they'd be a little off center. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little I'm bit. a sturdy girl. I could be a leg. I'm afraid you could be a leg. Trade. You could also yeah. be a back. Like it up. Maybe you and Jack are the legs, and Jeremy's the spine. Oh, just make me like a trigger finger. <laughs> I don't know go. what I don't know what you are. Yeah, I don't know what I am. I'm like I could be the gut. You're the head. You form the head. Oh, I form the, the belly. Beast. I want to be the belly, or just like one of the of testicles. The oh, oh man, it's just one. Well, That's you know, you could have another one be a testicle too. You kind of okay. just you know click clack next to each other. Click clack, click clack, <laughs> click clack, boom. There you click, go. Click balls, balls, baby, man. I walk Ready to go. Oh, boy. Let's. Let's do this. <laughs> Ready to attack. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> the right leg, right? No, yeah, we yeah. got it. I now got to say the signature phrase, Autobots roll out. Yeah. Like, the, the right leg just rolls into Autobots. Jeremy's torso. Oh, boy. Jeremy, your body. It's a foot now. Your body is a foot. My body is a foot. Have you guys done that uh, meme that's been going around with a yes, I have. half of someone's body and then the legs, the sexy legs? You make it. Oh, you I've want. seen. Yeah, everybody's doing that. And then yeah. what's the text? It's like, did it work? Yeah. I think is what it says. <laughs> there was a sexy Gus. My favorite is uh, someone did General Grievous. <laughs> it's like six legs on each side for his arms. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Ridiculous. Hang on, nice. Jack. What happened? Oh, you prepping it? We get, we're getting it all going. I'm waiting. I'm not. This yeah. Is the, this is this is all we do now. It's so we're, dude. We're, we're working at, on we're, it. We're, we're at. Report. We've lost our minds, man. We're high quality. Michael, oh, you got a green screen. Excuse me. We. I already oh, had. It didn't work. Never yeah. mind. <laughs> I lost my I'm mind. Just, I'm just work. chilling. Welcome to my world. Check. That's why I bought the green screen and put nothing on it. Then I just got bored. <laughs> you just got a blanket or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna hold it. I'm just gonna hold my yeah. blanket behind me. Well, it's up to the that's audience. They can out, make can him be wherever they want. But not everyone really has convenient. the technology to do that. We have saying. the technology. I know. I'm just saying the technology is simply a bonus. I just wanted a wall, and I'll tell you what we we did do exactly what you're recommending, and it was a fucking pain in the ass when we did the the resident evil 3 let's watch with matt so the yeah. first one we did we did right when the game came out it came out at you know like 11 o'clock at night we ended up recording till like 2 30 in the morning so it was dark as hell um and but then we filmed more the next morning and i've got windows in the room that i was in so it was bright as shit so i got two tripods set them up and then put a blanket across them and then Lindsay like rubber banded them so the blanket wouldn't fall off and it was like work. just a, it dude and it just kept slipping and the blanket would dip and you could like kind of <laughs> see but i was like this sucks that's why i bought this because i did do that literally with the blanket and i went there's got to be a solution oh it, by the screen some hardcore gorilla making 
then like, back to college projects where you just grab whatever's in your apartment to use as like a lighting setup or like yeah. it doesn't matter the yeah. best part about it was can this hold we, this yeah we did all that um and then the third part was at night again so we didn't have to do any of that but the best part was we did that whole pain in the ass with the second part and then they started the editors started putting the first video together and ashley's like only note was oh hey just for the next part can you make sure you get more light in it because it wasn't bright enough and we you were like losing frames on your webcam and i was like well don't worry we painstakingly went out of our way to make it dark again oops we already nice. did it <laughs> yeah. i was like it's already it's already done <laughs> and the next one's in the dark so uh no i can't honor your request at all <laughs> Request denied. Well, yeah, speaking then, of videos that that, uh, that just came out, uh, Jeremy, your uh, uh -oh. uh, Captain Squish came out. Oh, Squish! Squish! <laughs> Dude, I was watching it, and um, I thought it was so funny watching it, because I didn't even realize I was doing it, but, uh, <laughs> like, you guys would go first in the rounds, and any time you shot a character, this is for anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Gears Tactics. Gear um, Tacticals. Yeah, please. Gear Tacticals, Gears, as we call Gears it. Gears Tacticals. Please. Now it has a name. No, it was Gear Tacticals. It was Gears, they were so both singular. wrong. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> it was. She kept making different names, but anyway. Yeah, Gears Tactics. So Gears of War Tactics, and um, and it's it's like XCOM turn based and everything like that. But my character that I was was like this heavy dude with a fucking LMG or a minigun type thing, and. He had this ability that if you ran up and executed a downed opponent, everyone got an extra turn on your team. Hmm. So I was like, well, that's all I'm going to do when I can. So then for the whole video, anytime someone took a shot and the enemy went into a down position, you would just hear me go, oh, 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 like in the background. <laughs> like I noticed that there was an opportunity. <laughs> and then Jack would like give me his moves so yeah, I could like, get go, to the guy. Go. <laughs> go get him, Man. go get him, squish him. That was fun. Yeah, hope, that was hope, fun. Go watch that video so we can make more of it because uh, yes, that was a please. lot of fun to do. You know, yep. what you should also check out what you guys probably already talked about, but I don't care. I wasn't there. We did um, already talk about there's it. There's a video with two old men and they're Skyping each other. It was very interesting. I didn't know they could handle <laughs> no, that. No, no, it was no, it was the name of the Yeah, <laughs> webcam.exe. Yes, early. It's before my time. But yeah, <sighs> definitely go check that out. I think Absurd, yeah. seeing, seeing the old men up close like that, because you never really see right at their faces, but if some, you're lucky, but like <laughs> now they were, they were looking at the camera and you could see the lips and the eyes and it's just extra Michael's, freaky when it's just the, right the there. The old man, Michael fits so well. It's yeah, scary. Like well. Michael can turn his head and it like yeah. even the lines of the mask all line up and everything. It's if amazing. I put, if I put makeup on, you wouldn't be able to tell like, to, yeah. Because it's just the flesh color yeah. is different. Color tones um, off. But like, dude, it fits like a glove. Mine does not. I've it's, tried a lot of things with mine. <laughs> it's more, I, I notice you get more comments about yours not fitting as if that was the intended purpose. <laughs> right. You know, it's more incredible luck that mine does fit. <laughs> Yeah. Yours fits exact. Yours fits better than I thought they would. I I saw two masks on Amazon out of two masks, and I bought them both. It wasn't like a huge selection. It was like there were garbage masks, like you know, couple dollars, real crap, like Halloween masks. There were those which were like, I think, child screaming. I think they were like forty dollars, thirty, forty dollars, and then after that, there were hundreds of dollars, and I was yeah. like, I'm not fucking buying that, so I went, well, they've got two, I guess I'll just get them both, and then I just, I didn't even try them both, I just put the one on that I was holding, it was just like, I don't care who wears what, it, it chose you have you. one and I have one, it chose, <laughs> it chose me, like a symbiote, it's like a wand, yeah, yeah. yeah your <laughs> money's worth, also, yeah, it is like a symbiote, <laughs> it made me buy it, it fits you well, Michael. It does. Like the mask fits your face well, but I love like even though Jeremy's mask doesn't fit quite properly, there's a, a little bit off. The way that your eyes just read like horror and loss and sadness and everything you do with the old man yeah. is great. Well, I do. I try to do a lot of eye work. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of eye acting man. because I, I lose yeah. all yeah. of my face. It's because like it's Jeremy's eyes mask. are pleading yeah. to me every time he's the old man. Like, yeah, please well, let me, please let me die. They have a natural, like, the the sad slope to him. Yeah, the furrow. It comes down. I guess his furrow's like. Frown, yeah, like right? they have like the. Uh, and, <laughs> and, and like already. And then like on top of that, he's really old. But I've tried like 
even on that video, I was trying to tape. <laughs> yeah, there they are. See, he looks, yeah, he looks upset. <laughs> um, I, I tried to old folks home. because now that this was shaved, I mean, the soul patch is still there right now, but this was all shaved. So I was like, maybe I can actually tape the jaw to my jaw now so it would move with it. That still wasn't really working. I've tried like shoving paper towels in the back. <laughs> He's so tried like gum? so many things. So it would what? hold it tighter to my yeah, face. Yeah, he tried that. He tried gum. That you was can like see the first the yeah, end of the prank war. Spirit gum? Yeah. Spirit yeah. gum I've tried. That didn't oh, really, okay, because there was know. like padding on the inside that doesn't hold the spirit gum very well. So I'd have oh, to like okay. take that off. And I don't want to ruin it because the padding actually helps a little bit. And sense. also like spirit gum on the facial hair is never Oh, it's fun. no bueno no. for sure. No. You're going to want to get some remover. So I, I was just kind of, fuck it. <laughs> the transition from work to home with old men has been very interesting. One, because now they're like physically in my home before the idea of the old man was in my home. But now he's physically here. And I have to address that. I mean, that's where time. he started, though. He was first at home and then I brought mm. him to work. Yeah. Kind yeah. of. I mean, yeah, and it was delivered just makes here. A lot more. He's also at home. like yeah. all of the pieces of old man are in a bag next to uh -huh. our bed. So uh -huh. I'm talking to Michael the other day, and, and he's like, "Hey, where's the old man bag?" I'm like, what do you mean, old no, man? No, what happened was you had, it up. you had the gift <laughs> the corn, that the old the man got on the corn Olu, pipe, and I hadn't mm -hmm. even seen it yet. And oh, she the was pipe. like, yeah, "Yeah," and she's like, "Oh, because I was recording with Gavin when you guys did that awu." And uh, she's like, oh, someone sent this for the old man. And I go, oh, for who? And she goes, the old man. I'm like, which one? Which one specify. got it? And she goes, I, I don't know, who, who's ever? For both of you. And I go, well, we're not going to share it. I'm not going to share a pipe. Mouths. I mean, they, they share they everything. The now. No, they don't. <laughs> but um, see, they would share it to die, right? They'd be like, quick, but, if we share it, we'll infect die. Infect me. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, no, they don't share anything. I get yelled at for touching the walker. But I, like, you well, you get yelled, well, you, well, you get yelled at by Michael for, for throwing it into the ceiling. Okay. I That's, threw it at the ceiling. Attempted to throw it. <laughs> oh, into yeah. It. You were trying like, to successfully fuck, throw it. Fuck. That's again, that's a, that's a real walker. It was like a $40 yeah. walker. And Jeremy's just chucking it into the ceiling. It, but it was I can't even, I can't even, to even, chuck it into the I can't even yeah. talk about how many canes have been broken. We, I stopped buying them. Well, Those things canes, are not meant for real people to use. Well, I think they are, but I think they're not meant for like healthy young men to put their entire like, weight on whoa. yeah <laughs> whoa, bold claim there healthy young man Ooh, okay <laughs> well or yeah it's not meant for me to put my full weight on um but anyway i had the pipe and and i go oh i'll put it in the bag and she's like what bag and i go the old man bag and i have a bag mm -hmm. like in between my wall and my nightstand almost like where a is secret. it i was like whoa and I pulled it out and I put it in there. I just told you where it was. It's in between the wall and my nightstand. Couldn't have been more clear. You're right there. It's and it doesn't have all the old man supplies. I believe it's got the mask. It has the the uh, ref outfit. Um, it had the pants at some point, but I think the pants have been removed. And then I added the the pipe to it. I think I think I forgot the red cards at work. I think they're still in my desk. I didn't think they'd need them at home. There it is. Oh, nice. The old man, old man to go. Whoa. Yeah. It yep. looks like something you'd bring to rob a bank. Yeah. Forever. It does. <laughs> it's up in a plastic bag where you can see all of the uh, yeah. items. In <laughs> all the yeah, yeah. yeah, you got like the, yeah, like you said, coach's uniform, flag. Got the like, hat. no, that'd be in the van, oh, though. Man. Like, I'd put all that on before I go into the bank. Mm -hmm. I had to uh, pull out of a duffel bag. I had to track down the big puffy sweatshirt that we were wearing like the youtube one because cat wears that the robe and uh so i i like ran out of the room looking for it and then had to like get that on and situate myself in front of the in front of that screen which i knocked over at one point and you were like your whole world is moving yeah it was funny <laughs> <laughs> i loved you grabbing the chair as your bars <laughs> yeah this was the jail cell sure i just turned it sideways and i was like they got me <laughs> <laughs> movie magic <laughs> movie magic now would the old men have like friends that could visit them now since Not they're online no. and able to no. I don't they, think hate, so. connect? they hate everyone oh. including each other That's yeah they true. tolerate each other yeah <laughs> <laughs> but i love people were pointing out like the video ends with with michael being like all right well i'll talk to you tomorrow like we're like saying goodbye to each other and they're like so none of that just happened, right? This is just two old men sitting there, and that was all in their minds <laughs> as it they was, slowly it lose was, it. It was weird. It's also not. It's it's probably the closest we've ever been to being the old men of losing our fucking minds. Yeah. Um. Because 
we just have nothing else to do. Like that was that was in between one recording, and we had time before another recording. Yeah, and I thought, what could we do in between then and now? And we came up with that in like five minutes, and then shot it, and then just dumped it on the editor's doorstep. Like, here, deal with this mess. Like, like leaving a baby and knocking and just running away. I think away. you just sent like you sent a message <laughs> to you, Ashley. I, yeah. and you were like, "There's a present for you," and that's <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times there's things on the schedule of what we have to film. This was not one of them. This nope. was again just dropped off at their doorstep. Doorstep. That, is that your? Uh, is that your? Is that a bow camera app, Jack? That's my. That's my camera app. My cat is hiding behind my monitor. That's the mutant paw cat. Yeah. There's a little bow tie. There's a little bow tie. Which one's that one again? That's Cooper right there. Hello, Cooper. So cute. He was, he was he's Six literally you see or him behind my monitor hiding back there. Nice. So, so forbidden. Right. I'm allergic. Can't yeah, you are. Hey, really? Do I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I wish yeah. I wasn't. Yeah, but I am. Sorry. That's why every time I go over to Jeremy's house, I need to like drug myself. He drugs himself, and then he he also washes his hands like crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like yeah. my cats can't help themselves. Like when there's people around, uh, for Fredo especially, for some reason, they like to jump up on his lap. Like Scooter <laughs> likes to be on Fredo's lap and stuff like that. So Fredo yeah, will like there. pet him and then he'll like get up and wash his hands. And... <laughs> no, he'll sit there cats for, like a are, good hour. They're yep. totally the polar opposite of dogs. Where you know dogs, you're like, hey, come on over here. Like I'm really welcoming. Dogs go, oh fuck yeah. Like I'm getting pets. Awesome. If you give the signal or the emotional like direction to a cat of like i'm not interested in you i don't care the cat's like i'm coming over there i'm gonna go yeah. fuck with you like yeah, right now you? Yeah, what's going on why are you ignoring me <laughs> you seem pretty calm yeah like, booker <laughs> i think now recognizes meg and is like when meg comes over booker's in heaven awesome. he's like oh my Whoa. she loves me she's like i'm so cute and he's like fucking Bad dude it's everything. the He's best like, when he yeah. flops over yep. and you watch his stomach just like shake the house like <laughs> he hits the whole house <laughs> yeah. Yeah. he hits big hard cat. he is a big cat. cat he you know i play with them when people come over well like well also when they're not here obviously but like when people come over i show them i'm like look he likes to jump for the string and he'll jump like twice and then he's down <laughs> I'll get like two yeah, jumps. Well, you said there, jump. Like, you oh. meant one jump. He likes see to you next, jump. See you next week. <laughs> yeah, he jumps, so, and then it's like halfway so through the thick. jump, he remembers how heavy he is. <laughs> yeah. Like in the second half, is like, oh my god, that's a lot, and then he like lands, and he's like, oh, okay. It's also right. perfect that you named him Booker, because like I, obviously when you get a cat, unless he's already that big, I assumed you weren't like, hey, you're gonna be a fat cat. I'm gonna name no, you Booker. He was very thin <laughs> when we got him. That's no, I named him name. because of. uh Bioshock. Yeah. And then we went to Booker Do It. And then and Scooter was after Borderlands Scooter. But like he was tiny. Like we have videos of him uh when he was like when we first got him. And yeah, he was like a tiny little kitten. And then also, I don't know when it happened, but he just He went from Booker to Wit to Booker to Wait. Yeah. Well, do you know what his parents look like or was he like a shelter? No, cat? they were but they were both rescues. Okay. Yeah, they were both oh. street cats. And then you just fed him until he couldn't move. Mm -hmm. Kind of, I in guess. A luxury. I thought I fed him like a <laughs> decent amount. And then Zipper did the same thing. He's huge now too. Is I he remember when you? Zipper was thin. Um, he was laying down over there. I don't see him anymore. But he's. Oh. He might slide <laughs> over here. Yeah. Well, when when my two older cats that have passed, like as they were getting older, we started just like letting them. Like we put food out in an auto feeder so they just eat whenever they want. And then, like, we've done that ever since with my new cats. And they all, it's its interesting. Like, they don't get, they don't just eat nonstop. Like, our dog, she would just eat yeah. until all the food's gone. But the cats will be like, all right, I'm hungry. And they'll go have some food. And I'm good. And no, I, th it... I think, I think them knowing that there's always food, like, they don't, they don't gorge themselves. Because they go, oh, yeah, I'll get food when I want food. So no, we had the opposite because we had, like, competitive cats. So one oh, yeah. cat would eat all the food and not give it to the others and we're like you fat asshole you have to share if we leave this out so we had to stop doing that uh, so did you like Alas. watch them as they were eating like did they for a little bit or? yeah the fat one was princess peach because she was a moody mm -hmm. bitch and she wanted all the food so like the real princess peach. again how, but yes. how did you know that when you named her were you like you oh, seem like didn't. a moody bitch princess no. peach. <laughs> we... <laughs> or it changed we... We adopted yeah. three cats because they were like a tiny mini litter, I guess. And I was super into Super Mario 64. I was like, that one's Mario and that one's Luigi and that one's Peach. And then Mario and Luigi ran away. So we were oh, left with Peach. Damn. <laughs> she was in our castle. Damn, yeah. dude. 
Jeremy, if you think you had an auto feeder for Booker, would he just eat until he passed away? He'd be dead. passed away. <laughs> He'd be dead. <laughs> like there, there are smiling though. There are two things that will kill Booker. Colics. Um, the ability to eat whenever he wants, or if he went outside, both are death. <laughs> All right, he would get outside. There's and there's like turkey vultures everywhere, and there's coyotes and stuff like that. But he'd get outside, and I think I think he'd just literally die. I think he'd step on the grass and be like, <laughs> "That'd be it." And then that'd be Have it. you let him into your backyard at all? Because I mean, no, he's he not stands, gonna climb the fence. So he stands at the door. He's he's the first one to go to the door if we open it and like stand right at the door frame. But he'll just like so, sometimes I'll just watch him and see what he does. Because I know that he can't outrun me, so I'll go yeah. catch him. Um, but he'll take like one step and feel the concrete, and he'll be like, mm. "Like oh, that's <laughs> that's sound on." I, I don't think that's for me. No, and he'll come back in. I can just imagine his final days. He just sits looking at the door, and then you open it. And he walks out, and then just lays on the grass. And yeah, he dies. doesn't seem to understand basic things. He doesn't seem to understand the concepts of wet and pain. He same. He like when he drinks nice. water, he'll like he'll put his not anymore because we got like this big fountain now, so it's kind of harder to move. But when we just had bowls, he'd put his face in it, and then he'd like put his paw in it to try to drag it closer to him. And then we get really pissed off that his paw was wet, so yeah. we'd come into the kitchen, and there'd be a trail of water across the kitchen because he'd like pull the bowl and then like shake the water off back away from it drink pull the bowl and like shake it off and then awesome and also he doesn't seem to know what pain is because i've actually stepped on his foot a couple of times oh buddy and he, he won't run he won't like try to get away he'll just look at you and scream until it stops oh, <laughs> like you'll step on his God. hand and he'll just go he'll go ah, until you lift your foot like that, he doesn't seem to know what it is. He's just like, if I make noise, it will end. He just that's yells. Good, that's good. That's I, yeah. I can identify with that. I'm like, yeah. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to scream. Yeah, I'll just, <laughs> just gonna he, yell. He just goes, ah! And then you like lift your foot up. You're like, oh, sorry. All right. So we all know how ExpressVPN protects your privacy and security online, right? But here's something you might not know. You can also use ExpressVPN to unlock movies and shows that are only available in other countries. Now that so many of us are stuck at home, it's only a matter of time until you run out of stuff to watch. So while being at home, I've been using ExpressVPN to binge shows on streaming services outside of the US. It's so simple to do. I just fire up the ExpressVPN app, change my location to UK, for example, refresh my streaming service, and that's it. See, ExpressVPN hides your IP address and lets you control where you want sites to think you're located. You can choose from almost 100 different countries, so just think about all the different libraries you can go through. Love anime? Use ExpressVPN to access Japanese streaming services and be spirited away. ExpressVPN works with any streaming service. There are hundreds of VPNs out there, but the reason I use ExpressVPN to watch shows is it's ridiculously fast. There's never any buffering or lag, and you can stream in HD no problem. ExpressVPN is also compatible with all your devices, phones, media consoles, smart TVs, and more, so you can watch what you want on a personal device or on the big screen, wherever you are. If you visit our special link right now at expressvpn.com slash off topic, you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Three months. Support the show. That's us. Watch what you want and protect yourself with ExpressVPN at expressvpn.com slash off topic so similar vein i guess but um luna obviously is walking around and um practically running at this point but she has a huge appetite and she's not a chubby kid or anything like she's not overeating she just always wants food so even if she's had a full meal she'll come over to us if we're eating food and she'll kind of do the same thing like a cat she just starts going ah yeah, ah, she, just, like, yeah. she just screams dude she's, dude you had dinner Calm she's down. just like you cannot have food around her or she'll just be like give me that give me that ah! just like looking at the food she'll just start making noises she knows what she wants oh yeah, yeah. we have to like, like back sneak off by her but like, hide our food but <laughs> it kind of works sometimes um you know iris is almost three so she's picky when she wants to be of like you know it's time to eat food and she doesn't want to eat lunch or something and we can use it as a threat of like mm, better eat your sandwich or luna's gonna eat it 
and she's she will. like, oh shit, she will eat it. She doesn't say <laughs> she doesn't say that, but she thinks that, and then she'll start eating it. I think I told this story on off topic, maybe not. Uh, it was a while ago, but I was really excited to make a tuna melt at home. I was like, man, yeah, I haven't had tuna melt. Already. That's all right. In so long, for anyone who hasn't heard it, it's been a while. I used to have those growing up with my mom after sports. She'd make me a tuna melt. It was the best. So I made one. I'm like, yeah, awesome. I'm going to eat this. Fantastic. And Luna walked over. I was like, hey, Luna, like you can come watch mommy. That's fine. And she slapped the shit out of my plate and it all went on the floor. And I was like, yeah, she oh. hit it like, um, like a seesaw where she like slapped <laughs> one side and it just flung the other oh, side and the oh. fucking tuna fish sandwich <laughs> yeah. just went into the air spread apart into the yeah. air all over the carpet and then just hit the floor and Lindsay was just like that. staring at it <laughs> yeah there was, not, there was I nothing went. nothing Luna, could be I done love you, but that sucked nothing could be done <laughs> she was like oh you're gonna eat that nah no yeah. you're not not mm. on my watch <laughs> dude uh yesterday jeremy became a part of a uh I like the, oh, God. I like oh, the dark no. zone division Fredo kind yeah. of uh, mentality yesterday. So those of you guys that don't know, like, uh, Pre like Predator has a, like a new game out or whatever called Predator Hunting Grounds. And my one of my favorite things to do is just to find the Predator and kill it. And yesterday, yeah. Jeremy joined me along with uh, Jackie, one of my good friends. And we, you know, we killed the predator here and there. And then we went like, okay, like, what can we do to make this more entertaining for us? Because we were killing it for a couple hours. Um, killing it for a couple hours. So, we were. so we decided let's get all the perks that make us faster and allow us to, uh, you know, swing and stab the predator uh, viciously. So <laughs> what happened was <laughs> the, the predator, the first round, the predator showed up. And like we're all standing there under oh, like this is under a clip the tree, from his stream, yeah, yeah, and we're just like, as you can see, we're all just like, oh, there he is, there he is, and we're like, hey, break, hey, asshole, come back, because there's like he's, in game, he's comms. literally running, and he's yeah, like, and then, we're, so he comes oh, down, no. we're just start, no one was firing bullets, we're like, we're just gonna use knives, so he jumps in, tries to slash at us, then goes, oh shit, these guys are for real, and then we begin <laughs> to hunt him down. And the whole time we're using in-game comms, we're like, we're gonna get you. You're not gonna heal. Come back here. You're not gonna be you you saved. Fredo's friend was and... in the in-game chat going, get on back here now. You're Come on back awesome. here, boy. You ain't going nowhere. And just yes. we continued to oh, chase no. him down and Incredible. stab the Can predator. Can not jump into the trees or so, anything? Like, he was just um, so on the ground. When you go into last stand, you can't leap. Yeah. Uh, so if you, you knock him heal. down, yeah, if you knock him down <laughs> into like second win, you have to heal in order to leap again. So that's mm. kind of like your and also like if you don't heal, you eventually die. At that point, it's basically like standing bleed out. So you have a okay. bar that'll slowly drain and if you don't heal before that, you die. Uh but you yeah. also can't leap. So you're super vulnerable at that point. So it just became the point where we'd load into the game and we'd all have our knives out and then just try and like harass the predator to jump down on We'd us be sprinting through awesome. the woods and yeah i was turning into fredo at a couple of spots like one is like we were running through the woods and all of a sudden fredo would see me stop and look and Just Fredo's stand. like, he's like, ooh, you see something, Jeremy? <laughs> like, Dude, staring Jeremy, into the Jeremy starts going, bark, 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 the man bark, bark. That, he, that he hated. <laughs> I, I, did, would, I would look, I would look, I'd hear the Predator noise, I'd turn around, and Jeremy just got his knife out looking in the trees. He <laughs> <laughs> was just like, he's like, I hear him. He's up Dude, there. That should be the next Predator movie. Is the Predator running away? He's like, please leave me alone. Everyone's like, yep. get back here, boy, yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> that's all we do. We're like, get back here, you son of a bitch. You think you're going to hell The other time I felt myself becoming fredo is we played one round with just pistols we were like we're gonna we're gonna just do pistols so we all took the magnum which does a crap ton of damage but like oh, i'm so um, proud of this moment so we were just man. like running through the predator realized he's like oh i'm fucked and he was like taking off through the woods trying to get away from us and i was like staying right on his ass and fredo was like kind of further behind but he just kept hearing me go like tagged him tagged him again tagged him a third time because i was just like seeing <laughs> right behind him like clipping him whenever i had an open shot i would see jeremy just running stop and i'd hear a single shot and he'd go hit and then just keep running hit, <laughs> hit. And i was just like awesome. and i got I him like, he's grown up him. he's all grown up he's man. growing up <laughs> we, oh, yeah, we knife we knifed the predator uh and killed it seven times in a row yesterday
Well, oh, I'm proud of you. You guys have become for... the monster. That's the most common number. <laughs> Dude, because we found that. out, like, if he oh, stood God. under, like, the branch that he's sitting on, he can't shoot you with his plasma rifle. Yep, you so just stand we right were, under him with knives out. right under him, we're like, that's not going to work, asshole. Come down here. <laughs> I love Booker on your shirt because it's just two eyes. And yeah, it's just all void. Blended. It's just <laughs> void. It looks like you're massaging your boob. That's all it is. Oh, I do that all the time. It's just check, a big check void. them for lumps. Jeez. He's important. so thick and I love yeah, it. Yeah, hang on. There's, there's, oh, thick I can boy. give him. There he is. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. You're like straining <laughs> under the wind. Yeah. like a me. toddler. <laughs> that's a, that's, he looks like, it's a like big toothless. boy. Does look yeah, he is, he is a lot like toothless. Uh, Ooh, Jack, cool. a lot of people in the chat asking about or talking about Assassin's Creed. I was yep. going to say, we're, we're talking about yeah. games. transition. Uh, yes. Assassin's Creed Valhalla trailer came out today. Holy shit. It looks awesome. Dude, that logo is hot. And I love that's nice. Well, because the idea is that's like everyone's hot. like, oh, Vikings are like these guys who are like violent and real, like mean and bloody. And it's like they oh, which, set up. Yes. In the trailer, <laughs> they set it up where it's what? like, oh, maybe it, maybe they weren't, you know, they were they were mean, but they weren't like these vicious, bloodthirsty brutes. And it's like, oh, maybe the people they were they were fighting because it's very clear this like, you know, it was like Church of England or something. I'm not sure who mm -hmm. that was, but it was like they're going to be set up as the Templars and the Vikings are set up as what the assassin assassins. If we're basing on history, then yeah, it's like Northern England territories and Vikings invading. And like historically, uh, yeah, both parties were kind of fucked up and killed a lot of people in horrific ways. But yeah, you know, I'm excited to ax some people and do some blood eagles, like I said. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. freaking excited though. The eagle though is like they've replaced the eagle with a raven, which mm -hmm. is like huge in Norse mythology. So like Odin, like Odin has two ravens, and so it's like because the guy was even like, Odin's with us. It's like, oh shit. It Dude, looks so I I need good, me some man. Freya. Like if they can give me a chariot drawn by two giant cats awesome <laughs> let's do it but, she was uh, a boss yeah. bitch so it's coming out this fall and uh i am very very excited <clears throat> for that one boy i'm very i still gotta play the last one dude odyssey is so good odyssey yeah, is really i did good. origins i never dude, i never got the to dlc odyssey. is good too for it as well yeah if you're into like the the mythology of assassin's creed the uh the um atlantis dlc which is a three-part dlc it tells a lot of the story about the Isu and the first people, which is like where everything kind of came from. And uh, it's fascinating and it's, it's really, really cool. So That's, I, that I, game I takes a that. serious 180 in plot. Like it just kind of, it throws like some big shit at you yeah, later in the game. <laughs> they, they very much take the approach of like drama and comedy, kind of like, you know, big overtone comedy. stories. And oh yeah. And um yeah, it's, uh oh, I mean, there's, so there's some. Oh, Jack's talking to himself. Lindsay, turn it off. I know. That was interesting. <laughs> uh But anyway, yeah, if you haven't played Odyssey, you should absolutely play Odyssey. And um because damn, that's a good game. And then I know a lot of people complain about like the new RPG aspects of it. And it's kind of like you sort oh, of I choose like your it. path. I, I dig it too. I like it. I like, I mean, anytime a game is sort of does the same thing every single iteration, it's like, okay, we get it, you know, but it's like, at least with the yeah. Assassin's Creed series, they're trying to evolve a little bit and change it and add new stuff to it. And it's like, all right, we're going to, you know, this works, but let's try some new stuff and let's add some more stuff to it. And so I guess anyway. why people would have a problem with that in Assassin's Creed is it's such a lore and story heavy game that people want to know, like, what is canon? So yeah, when you have like a choose your own story, it's like, ooh, but like what what is the actual canon? Like which but, one actually it, happened? But they, but actually, so I think canon is Cassandra and the actual sort of in yeah. Odyssey. If you don't know in Odyssey, you can pick either plays Alexios or Cassandra, and then the story splits depending on or the story is the exact same story just with different characters, uh, just with a different main character. But in the actual game. Um, they find a crypt or they find a tomb and it has blood and they're not sure which DNA match it is. They're like, it could be Alexios or it could be Cassandra. And they specifically say that in the game. It's like, who do you want to be? Because it could be either of them. We're not sure who exactly it is. And then I think now they've come out and said that that blood was actually Cassandra's blood. So in the canon of it, she's the one who lived through all that stuff. So, yeah. Now, now, I, did, now oh. I know who to pick. Right. Did yeah. they give the name of the main character in Valhalla? I can't remember not if it's Ragnar or not. Yeah, it's um I don't think so. I can I'll look yeah. into it, see if there's I know you can play as a woman and it's it's very similar in the skin, which like, you know, you can give or take, you can comment on that how you want. I'm just really excited to play as like a shield maiden or kind of have that like, you know, Valkyrie inspiration when I'm running into battle. I'm cool with that. Yeah. You so also you... played Origins, right? You didn't play Me? Odyssey. Yeah. I did both. I didn't did finish play, Odyssey, but I played both. You didn't come near finishing it. No, I think I'm like halfway through. All right, so you, you play as Eivor 
is the, is the name of the okay. main character. E I V O R, pronounced Avor. And you can be a male or female, I guess. I want to be Avon the Boneless. Avor. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like that, the that oh, looks, like the, <laughs> it looks like the collector's edition that's what comes Vikings with do. the collector's edition comes with uh, a statue of the female version of Avor. Okay. So Jack, cool. the so uh, like, yeah, <clears throat> the the chat obviously like bit of a delay for us. Uh, Fifty people said Avor. I just I just <laughs> yeah. looked up the chat. It's yeah. just all Avor. Yeah. Avor. 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 Have you guys watched the the Vikings like TV show? I think it's History Channel. Is it or no? Is it good? It, I contemplate a, watching that every other month. Is it history? I think it might be because I remember people going, "Excuse me, History Channel has narrative shows now." But I Wait, watched some a &E? clips. No, what is it? No, it's A and E. Maybe is it A and E? Because I was, sure. I was one thinking. of the two. Chat will let me know. Either way, yes, I watched some clips from it. It's actually pretty good. Um, I I likened it Network. to uh, Game of Thrones in quality. That it's on the History Channel. Yeah, word. You are right. I uh I just started watching um what we do in the shadows the the oh, Hulu show such oh, a good show have you seen it the really movies? is yes yeah, yeah. okay all right I cool. just, I'm gonna watch I that just <laughs> watched the episode with like the trial okay um so it's like episode six or something there's there's ten episodes in season one <clears throat> and season two is airing right now so there's like so it comes out weekly I think there's three episodes out on Hulu I will so say if, I'm sure if I'll be don't... caught up soon. If you don't know anything about what we do in the shadows, if you know nothing about it, find the movie right now and watch it with no trailers or anything. Just go in blind, and that's that's the way to do it. That's such a good movie. Mm. Yeah, I mean, to not give away anything, it's like uh, like mockumentary, I yeah. guess. Yeah. yeah. And it, so but, if you're if you're into that, but like not even knowing the plot, like it's really funny, dude. Yeah, it's, and it's got, it's got Taika Waititi, and it's got Jermaine Clements. And mm -hmm. um, uh, Reese Darby's in there as well. So, um, yeah, yep. it's all good. It's good. It's a great. It's a great. It's a great, great. movie, and it's uh, it's a really good TV adaptation of a movie. Oh. Um, and I and like, I, at least Taika, I think, I think Jermaine as well. They're like executive producers. Like they got their fingers in the show because the the main characters from the movie are not the characters from the show. Yeah. Um, so I think that was like initially like, is this going to be one of those like in name oh, only? Yeah. Um, but I mean, like, it's pretty good from episode one. It gets better, but it's not even there's a lot of good shows like Parks and Rec, which is like first season. Not great. And then it gets really, really good. Um, I don't think they knew what they wanted as a show. They didn't. Parks they wanted started. to be the office. Exactly. Yeah. They wanted. They knew exactly uh. what they wanted. No one else wanted it. <laughs> True. They wanted to be the office, but the, the show it became was so much better than what it what it started out to be um but this show is actually really good like from the get-go uh mm -hmm. and actually speaking of which tonight is a new episode of parks and recreation what that yeah. show's still going yeah. no they're well, doing a special one-off episode yeah. oh like, they're doing okay. a special like excited. quarantine episode everybody oh, everybody from the show is in it like all the cast members are doing it whoa that's it airs cool. tonight i think on is NBC. it just like the cast like I don't know the characters from the sh like show like zooming in and calling each other. I am at, I think I think it's like them as their characters during the the Quarantine. COVID pandemic That's and they're awesome. like talking to each other and shit. I think I haven't read much about it. I just happen to see um uh what's his name? Ben Wyatt. Can't think of his name. Adam, Adam Scott. <laughs> Adam Scott. Adam Scott tweeted mm -hmm. about it. And I was like, "What?" And then I just looked it up real quick and I was like, "Oh yeah, it's coming out like this week. I read it yeah. earlier this week. I'm pretty it's, sure it's, it's tonight." It's been a Dude. lot of fun watching people like uh, do. There's been a lot of like rewatches of movies with like directors and stuff. Like we had Dante Bosco on our stream yesterday, and he did a rewatch of Hook, where he was doing like a tweet along. So it's like hit play now, and then he was just tweeting facts about the movie. Um, the guys behind uh, uh, that thing you do, they did like a live commentary of that thing you do. The like, 25th anniversary. Yeah. It was awesome. Love it was movie. fascinating. Hmm. Um, I know um, uh, last night, uh, Kamel Nanjani did a, a watch of The Big Sick with Emily Gordon, his wife. Like, they talked about that movie. It's like, it's been fun seeing it's like, oh, these people, yeah. like, they're just bored out of their minds. Like, I can entertain you for a little bit, you know, like, <laughs> let me yeah. talk about the things I've been in. So that's, it's pretty cool. I also Dude, like just uh, the the celebrity, hmm. like, uh, face timings where it's like, sure, Miley Cyrus and Demi Lovato are just going to go live Chatting talking up. about their cats <laughs> like whatever yeah. everyone's awesome. trying to just do something and just to hang out with each other so it's like a good time to like see all these celebrities doing other things outside of like a bigger picture um mm -hmm. you guys talk about good shows i've been watching a, 
a trash show on Netflix that's just so entertaining that Jackie got me into. It's called Too Hot to Handle. It's like a reality. Oh, I heard. I Jeff heard about that show. Yeah, it's a it's a reality TV show where they take all these like hot, horny like uh males and females stick them on a private island and just like oh man you guess what's gonna what might happen who's gonna do who and you guys have a chance to win like a hundred thousand dollars also if you do anything that's um sexual you lose money and so oh. but they don't tell them until they're on the island so it's kind of like a sobriety challenge <laughs> so you get all these people that's just like on this fucking island like Ooh, i'm ready to party i'm hot i'm horny and i want that one and then they start mingling and then like, whoa, 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 by the way, if if you do anything, you lose money out of this giant pot that you all share. And so, so split evenly between. Everyone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. So it gets it gets real raunchy and interesting are, are and so like, trashy. It's like if they make out, it's like a oh, thousand yeah, so, bucks. But if so, they bang, it's like 10,000 or something. Making or? out is three grand. Ooh, yeah. What about yeah, holding yeah, hands. Yeah. Where and then that? and the thing too uh <laughs> holding hand is yeah. holding hand is fine i think you can also kiss on the cheek and whatnot but like that, yeah mm, that's mm. that's a blurred line there my friend mm. oh i've seen people get up to each other so maybe it's a cheek to cheek thing um okay. but but no yeah no if something happens or they have like this meeting in the beginning like uh, i guess at, like every morning they have like this kind of like alexa oh, sorry i didn't want to i didn't want mine going off uh type of device <laughs> that essentially talks to them <laughs> And, then, <laughs> and is like, She's okay, listening. so somebody did this last night and cost the group fifteen thousand dollars, and like cool. doesn't say who it is. So everyone's like bickering at each other. Oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah, great. and then and then they're just and then and well, it was initially the people that did it were just like, oh, we got away with it, and then the the AI was just like. No, it was these two. <laughs> and then they're like, you motherfuckers, you try to lie to us. Yeah, I think it was it. like Jeff or Trevor was talking about this show recently. Was it on another uh, off topic, on, Michael? Do you remember that? I, oh, I don't remember. I remember he's somebody been, talking about this. He's been talking about it on keeping the lights on a lot. I don't, I don't yeah. think it was on off topic, but I could be wrong. It might have been like a stream or something. Oh, yeah. And, and my, I was straight up of the opinion I'd lose in that show. I'm trying to think of the Achievement Hunter versions. Like, yeah. who, who farted? Oh, can't <laughs> masturbate oh, either. Oh. Yeah. So you, so oh, you yeah. can't Whoa, masturbate. You can't no. pound off. Oh, can't pound fuck off. That. Can't pound off. <laughs> Jeremy, you could tank the whole thing by yourself. You don't even need. You don't no, even you're gonna like, pound off hundred k <laughs> worth of money. Yeah, to dude. be fair, like, how do they know? Do they have cameras in the bathroom? Uh, there's cameras yeah, everywhere. Only yeah. human. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bunch of cameras, and as much as possible, like even in the shower, it's just like they have stuff that covers. I don't know, at least as low as they can. Um, See, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Someone who's asexual, and they'll win. That's it. That's your oh, I mean, they're they're trying to ruin it for them. That's the thing. Yeah, but they, the bet, they bet the they don't, that's people. The thing. They don't know that when they're joining. Ooh. They think they're going there to bang. Yeah, uh, I think they're going to their bang and win cool. like money, and then they're like, "Yeah, if you if you want this money, you can't like oh, have sexual man. interactions with other people." And then they the, don't the even say in the morning, but all you want to do is brag about it. Yeah, no. Yeah, people come in. It's funny. People come in like because this is one this is one moment where it's like okay they're, they're kind of fucked up because it's like okay you're building this connection with somebody because the whole point is like build like an emotional connection so these people are like oh man you guys are building this great connection so like the the ai or whatever it is the, the kind of like the host ai for the show just goes hey i'm gonna reward you guys you guys are doing a fantastic job uh, i'm gonna reward you guys by giving you guys access to the private suite for the night to Ooh. just spend more time building this relationship not, not physically bang. touching each other <laughs> or just go so, ham good yeah. build that well, emotional intimacy it's important it's just it's, important dude, it's, it's just crazy and then uh, you know some people leave and then from there they're just like they send like Whoa. another boat no, of people stop. that <laughs> jeremy <laughs> Is that, that does that cost any money? That's fifty bucks down. The pot's going yeah. down people yeah, the no pot's stop going jeremy, down. The, the jesus pot. nickels the drop it dude i mean you learn the price of of sex and a blowjob real quick a yeah, child one gives you a child and one doesn't it's fucked up too because some <laughs> people you're just in like, a homosexual yeah. relationship yeah <laughs> some people like end up leaving and then so like there'll be you know a moment where like you'll see a boat of people coming in and it's just like all these shots of like you know hot people like whoosh 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 and then they come in they're like yeah i'm ready to bang and there's like oh you guys don't know that you can't do anything <laughs> you just don't know 
I'm just imagining so how like they... disappointed bro faces like oh yeah oh no, it's a lot it's a lot of just uh... like of like oh yeah she's so hot yeah I'm gonna get into those pants and then they tell them and they're just like what hold what and then they do the thing where they talk to the camera and they're like bro I didn't know when I signed up for this man <laughs> yeah. I don't hey, yeah. did you what see that? that almost what was lower that? third of black box almost, down almost come up again. there was a <laughs> there was a memory of something I think it was black box down speaking speaking Gus of Chris's not new, fucking on an island podcast. plane crashes but <laughs> the, the lower third started to come up and went away Amazing. You guys gotta be careful. I looked away for a second. You guys gotta be careful. Calling out. So, I was looking at this beautiful collector's God. edition. I will say, I don't know if it's true or not, but someone in the chat <laughs> said the German title for "Too Hot to Handle" is "quote finger finger weg w e g," which basically means "finger away." Like you put that dirty <sighs> finger away. We know no, what you're gonna no. do with it. Whoa! Yeah. Damn, Jeremy. The it's like they're talking. It's called Chinese finger trap. It's just oh. like they're talking to you, Jeremy. <laughs> I love those. that title. Yeah. Put that finger away, Jeremy. Put it away. <laughs> Where's it going? Put it away. Oh no, that's an old man <laughs> eye right there. It's an old man <laughs> eye acting. Uh oh! <laughs> Look out! It's coming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. uh. There's a lot of uh oh. oh. <laughs> The Yo, bell. Man. There was the oh, bell. We could hear it this it. time. Although I kind of appreciated Tyler screaming it last time. That that bell you heard is just a reminder to me to uh, talk to you, the audience, and uh, specifically you firsties, you first members out there. Thanks for being first members. I wonder if that's what they were trying to pull up, and then they realized that either A, it was too early, or B, it looked like a black box down lower third. That's sure what it looked like to me. Maybe I'm wrong. But regardless, we're here now. Uh, just want to say thanks. To all the first members that have been supporting us, especially now more than ever with the the, the situation, uh, the current state of the world right now, uh, your support uh, yeah. means more than ever. Uh, emotionally and physically, uh, we're able to do uh, all this streaming stuff. Uh, all this RTTV is is like directly as a result from all the first members. So thank you very much for your support. Uh, if you'd like to sign up to be a first member, you could do that and chime for a free week trial. We've got a lot of first stuff going on right now. Last Laugh is premiering right now every Monday. There's two episodes out right now. Uh, but you know, just thanks, just little little thanks. Um, just that every time that you hear that bell, a first member gets its wings. And if you've heard it already, we rip them off. So, uh oh, careful, cover your ears. Suzu's pedals. I, I, I know where to go with that. And then they just rung the bell again. So mm -hmm. they <laughs> just, they just diswinged a lot of people. Do they want me to play a sound bite? Is that what that bell? That's meant? what it was. Yes, Jack, yeah, please exactly play a sound bite. Jack, now. can we get a Carol Baskin up in here? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> God, it's you so do, dumb. You do. I got, I got this one. one. Jack, oh. Uh, <laughs> It didn't really go through. Yeah, it didn't I didn't know what it was. Two notes of it. That was I know what it is. It's not working. Is it not working? No, it's going. No. Eh. 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 Oh, son of every a third eh. note. Ah, no, it's not. Okay, that one came through, Jeremy. I saw you reach for it. That was a panic button. <laughs> Jeremy, oh, imagine if we were hunting the predator with knives oh. yesterday, just blaring that over the game calls. Okay. Stand by, Jack. You can try it again. Yeah, I'm Go gonna, try, I'm gonna try. I'll turn it up. I'll turn it up. Here, hang on. Maybe you can hear it this time. No, no. no. It's. Why is it not feeding over my mic? It's so. Bad. It's like cutting out. It's just going. Eh, 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 eh. We're losing the middle. We're getting. We're getting this tips. Is the best. We're getting the peaks, uh... but not the valleys. Live television. Um, wow. All right, well, this is all I'm going to spend the next hour on, so you guys right, have you, fun doing the rest You work on that. Um, <laughs> it didn't oh, really boy. work out, Jack. We'll get back to the matter at hand. We'll get him next time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get him next time. Michael Lindblad just go, put a message in the chat, too, and he was like, please stop, please. <laughs> no more. <laughs> No Come more on, do it now. Oh, see, they see? No, they're not mute. It's Discord. Oh, For some reason, it's Discord, Discord is not, it's not picking it up. Oh <laughs> my God! So Limblad here. My headphones. Yeah. yeah. So good. Dude. Oh, Limblad's yellow card. Giving you a yellow card, Jack. It's a yellow card in the field, old man. How do you feel Careful, about that? Careful, yellow card. Harden him. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> the whole chat's like. Oh, so Oh, they loud. can hear. Oh, so just we can't hear it. Yeah, they got oh. blasted oh. by melodic. Got it. Sorry, everyone. 
That, oh yeah, apparently he's, o- so he's doing Discord he's doing a science thing. Oh yeah, oh, Discord's no. munching it down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chat Chat is doing a science wild. thing. So for <laughs> what you're hearing, internet, is different than what we hear. So you're hearing it fine. All right. It's getting I'll all chewed it, up for us. I'll turn it back down. It's there. It's that level. There you go. Okay, I'll just assume you heard it. Yeah, it's the level funny. you had on that was good. The Carol Baskin, Jack, it needs to come back up. Now it's oh, too low. Boy. Carol Baskin. It's, yeah, it's so it's low. Nice. That's yeah, a good you, one. Need, you need to Carol crank Baskin. it higher, though. It's, it's funny because we're just like, we can't hear it. And the chat's like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> we, the like, delay! Oh, turn it off We more. don't know from the delay. <laughs> crank it? I can crank it. Oh, don't God. crank it. Don't do You're it. You're going to get a yellow keys. card. <laughs> yeah, Carol Baskin is quiet. I need to. I need oh, to you already, you already uh, got the yellow card. Sorry. Speaking of which, thank you very much to the people uh, this morning who helped me get some more cats on my very discriminatory island that only hosts yeah, cat and tiger villagers. So thank you very much. Ooh. I'm slowly becoming the tiger queen of my island, and I like it Bro. that way. Bro, Carol Baskins of you. Mm-hmm. I do have a grave in front of my house, and I said my husband's buried there. <sighs> So I'm being honest. Do you know where he part, is? I'm not going to lie about of, it. The parts of your husband that are still around. Don right. Lewis. Well, the cat that ate him is buried there. Okay. Yeah. I have Yamcha and him. So that's, that's and Jackie and I got a... Hard. We got sushi for lunch. And Ooh. Jackie made the very smart decision to... Uh, you know, because we walked over, picked it up, or drove over, picked it up, and did the pick up at the curve thing. So we, she made the very smart decision to also order mochi ice cream. <laughs> I'm letting this thaw out a bit. Yeah. Oh, what flavor? It'll be good. Uh, I believe it's mango. Ooh. Jeremy, oh. we made, didn't we make mochi in Taiwan? Ooh, sure did, Jack. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna eat little, it. Little cookie <clears throat> things we made, right? Yeah, we made some mochi cookies in uh, in Taiwan. It was um nice. uh, and we were very respectful about that one. Not yeah. like not like the boba tea. Oh boy. That's- that was, dude, looking back on that, that's one of those things. Like people, are like, oh, what's some of your, what's some of the like, favorite things you've done while you've been working with Rooster Teeth? That trip to Taiwan. If you, if you didn't know, so so myself, Jeremy, and then Sam and Craig, who at the time were with Screw Attack. Uh, now Sam is is running uh, um, Screw Attack, I guess, or uh, well, Death, Death Battle. Battle. And then and, uh, Craig and has gone on to do Game, game Attack. Yeah. Um, yeah, the four of us went to Taiwan, and we spent like four or five days in Taiwan touring mm-hmm. the country with some uh like handlers from basically the like the the tourism department from the government there and it was just us four white americans in taiwan and ex- experiencing that and it was amazing it was some of the most fun i've ever had it was the most fish out of water i've ever felt in my life um yeah. except the time we went to the costco which there was a costco in taiwan <laughs> i went to a 7-eleven yeah i know yeah so, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, there, there were, we went there for this festival and like this religious festival, and we're in like where there's all these people show up to uh, celebrate this this one time a year where like they they move the statue around the country, and they have this big like street party, and then they just launch fireworks in the middle of the street, and it's the most dangerous thing on the planet. It's and awesome. we were just drinking beer. Sam was holding a camera, just filming it, drinking beer like two feet away from these fireworks going off, and everyone's like, "You want? Can we help?" And like everyone was super friendly and nice. And that's awesome. I was dancing Very around as a dragon. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Embracing I had a dragon mask your, on. It's still yeah, in there. Your inner yeah. spirit. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, dragon. mochi cookies, I haven't had that. I've had mochi ice cream. I've heard it's kind of like eating a, a macron, right? It's like a little yeah, squishy it's just consistency. Yeah. <laughs> nice, Alfredo. Chat look says don't let that thaw too much. Look at that stretch. Mm. Don't yeah. let it thaw. You want that choke, stretchy buddy. goo. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh, Talk about stuff. a little porker over here. He's, he's that was very over sexual. There. You just yeah. lost three hundred dollars. Mm. I was gonna say you'll lose money no. for that. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not losing money. But somebody's if they're making a mess of themselves watching him eat it, then they're gonna lose mm. money. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. That was, well, that's called a trap on the show. But unfortunately, you still lose because it's your money too. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> do, do they have like plants? Just like hot people that work for the show, that's that's what they should do. Demon. And they're like oh. trying to get people to bang oh, them, and they're like, "I'm an undercover agent. Right. Like, I'm, I'm not even a beer. contestant. My job is to lower that pot." Well, not to go. I mean, in a no, but in a way, yes, because not to go into like spoiler territory. But no, but also, yes. there there yeah. there there are but people really, that's like, no. well, it's not really working out, so you know they left the island, or whatever. And then they bring in people that are just like going to the island that don't know what's up. And then, you know, they show the little interview reel and it's like, I love sex. I'm not afraid of it. That's all I want. My mission is to go and just bang everybody. Well, so, like, so do people get voted off or they just choose to leave? Oh, uh, well, I that... mean, that could get into spoiler territory. Okay, so there is oh, some sort of mm. system 
In Not place. everyone who starts finishes, it sounds mm-hmm. like. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Hopefully oh. no one does. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's well, it depends. If you want money, you don't finish That's at all. That's the tagline. Yeah. Good job, Jack. <laughs> Solid marketing. <laughs> no one who starts finishes. <laughs> that is a great tagline. <laughs> You're welcome, Netflix. I'll take my money now, please. please, please. (laughs) This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Stamps.com. One of the toughest parts of making and selling products online is the shipping. No one really has the time to go to the post office. It's just a really big hassle. But don't worry. Anything you can do at the post office, you can do at Stamps.com. Print postage on demand and skip those lines and crowds at the post office. Plus, you can actually save money with discounts that you can't even get at the post office. Think about not going post office. Think about saving money. What's not to love? Stamps.com brings all the services of the U.S. Postal Service right to your computer in the safety and comfort of your own home, office, or anywhere else you are hunkering down right now, whether you're a small business sending invoices, an online seller shipping out products, or you're just working from home and need to mail stuff. Stamps.com can handle it all with ease. Simply use your computer to print official U.S. postage 24-7 for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send. Once your mail is ready, just leave it for your mail carrier, schedule a free package pickup, or drop it in a mailbox. It's that simple. And like I said, with Stamps.com, you get great discounts too, five cents off every first class stamp, and up to 40% off USPS shipping rates. And now, in addition to offering discounted U.S. Postal Service rates, Stamps.com, also offers UPS services with discount rates up to 62%. Plus, with Stamps.com, you won't even have to pay UPS residential surcharges. Just savings upon savings upon savings. Right now, our listeners get a special offer that includes a four-week trial, plus free postage, and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone in the top of the homepage, and type in Off Topic at Stamps.com. Enter off topic. Boom, bing, you're done. Mail your packages, son. Stamps.com. That's so great. I have some uh, good and bad news to yeah. news, to oh, mention. It's, I call it I call it goose. Oh, um, I thought you stopped whoa. doing that. No, I get no money, so I goo <laughs> as much as I want. Um, so we started doing we as a whole i haven't done it um the print on demand shirts with the incredible uh aggravating success of front back the front back shirts oh yeah, yeah um so you know the thing with the the print on demand or print to order whatever you want to call it is like they don't make the shirt until you order the shirt so it's it's a whole behind the scenes to get into why all of our shirts don't work that way because it doesn't work for every shirt uh, it's just there's like particular shirts that we can make where we don't have to worry about quantities and like you know selling out of stock it's just like okay these shirts will be made right to order never going to run out we started that with the front back which was this absurd uh success the community lost their minds over the front back shirt mostly thanks to me and um so we've had a couple more come out so uh, we've got we've got the front back. Then we did um, listen to Face Jam, and then the Red Dot Dooley shirt just came out. Yep. And my Son. welcome to Goo News with Michael Jones. And oh. my um, my tagline with it has been, you know, because people were like, you know, they want to get Jeff shirts and they sell out. You know, they wanted to get the hundred percent eat shirt for Face Jam, which sold out, which is coming back soon. I still don't I, have I it think, yet. I think it's next week. I'm going to get you one, Jack. I think it comes right. back next week. That's what we announced on Face Jam anyway. I hope that doesn't get delayed. Um, but my tagline with the shirts was, they can't sell out unless the print shop runs out of fabric. Well, let well, me tell you, the print shop is <laughs> running dry. So, <laughs> literally, so, yes. <laughs> no, literally the print shop, mostly due to the front back shirt and the overwhelming – success that no one saw coming including the printer when they went yeah no problem we can make sure it's print on demand that's what we do then went oh my god too many shirts we can't make this many shirts so people who have ordered it um like some people there's like a delay in them getting their shirt they're still being made but i was told today the print shop is like the the store at the end of today or at some point today is temporarily taking down the um print to order shirts which is just three for now i think 
while the print shop literally overhauls their print shop in order to get back up to like the the requirements that the audience <laughs> is demanding of them like they're yes. changing their it's like printing factory right? <laughs> so i was told it's only it's going to be like one to two weeks they should be back up and running by mid-may but it's literally That's because crazy. they were just slammed with thousands and thousands and thousands of shirt orders and they just can't make them the print shop is just like blah, 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 blah. we thought we print some shirts so they have to redo their entire printing like manufacture uh in order to keep up with the demand of the shirts i.e front back which is you know probably the main that's one that's so insulting it's, it's, like yeah it really go, is we were broken by yeah. a shirt that's just front from the yeah, back the, yeah <laughs> yep, correct it's such um, insulting so it's shirt to print it's, it's amazing news it's unfortunate the shirts are going to get pulled down just for two weeks because basically if they leave them up it's only going to compound the problems and this is going to take more and more and more of a delay so the shirts will be down for like about two weeks is what i'm told printer's going to come back up the shirts are going to go back on probably should be good there on out Who's to say? You broke it once, audience. So now that we're dealing with this, though, which is not a crisis, but a little bit of a backup crisis, do you still want to take credit for the creation of that shirt, or should we shift the blame to Gavin now? Oh, no. His absolutely fault take credit. No, absolutely take happening. credit. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, again, like, hmm. you know, hmm. whoa, 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 too many. We need to overhaul the print shop, but I'm sure they're not complaining about, you know, having thousands of orders come in. You're welcome, print shop. Just saying. <laughs> So as I, I was told that that's they're getting taken down from the store later today. Obviously, this is live right now. So if you're listening to this, not live, that's already happened. But on Thursday. April 30th, Thursday, um, I think you can still order <clears throat> whatever's up there. I mean, if it's up there, you can still order it. But uh, I was told this this morning and I was like, I should probably tell people today on the podcast because then they're going to be like, where'd the front back shirt go? And then I'm going to have to field all those questions because I'm, you know, the front back guy, obviously. They're all going to come to me. So I just said, I'll just tell them about an off topic. And they were like, eh, good news, bad news. Uh, so now, you know, they're coming back. They They'll just, be back. They just need to uh, get get things sorted out they sure literally the i think like they're getting more machines mm. it's crazy <laughs> god have you amended your awesome. social media profiles to create a front back shirt no no yeah. i don't want sure you do that damn shame make sure what? you do that yeah. i don't want to yeah. brag i'm not gonna well, do you should. that no it's you, not you should brag. it's yeah. more yeah. just taking making it's sure copywriting in a sense yeah. social media copywriting mm -hmm. you were the one that did it you know yeah <laughs> silly just Dude. silly do uh, out there might take credit jack sir so um to go back to when we were talking about like the taiwan thing yeah i just i didn't know because i think i must have had a different i mean obviously but i had a different phone when we did the whole thing and um i guess like my data didn't carry over so like i lost all of my pictures oh from <laughs> taiwan which is always like god damn it but i was like looking through um some old files the other day which i think are just like instagram posts coming down and i fucking found this uh that look oh, at that whoa. that's beautiful that. damn nice. holy shit that was now, near the uh the salt place right i think that was where i ate a pile of salt when they yeah. told me not to they, they oh, were well <laughs> what? It, was, it was like actual salt from the ocean that they were uh they were like you know basically not distilling. I don't know if they would evaporate yeah. the water, leave the salt, and they do it multiple times so they were left with sea salt. And, like uh, mounds, yeah, and, piles yeah, of giant salt. giant piles of it. And then right yeah. next to it was this beautiful chapel. And it was like, what? And the, no one was in there. It was like, what is this? And so. Mm -hmm. well, they shine, yeah. yeah. They were dotted all over the place, those temples and everything. They were so goddamn cool. And yeah, we were like at the salt thing. And um, I was like, can I just eat this? Like, will I get in trouble? And they were like, no, you won't get in trouble, but it's salt. <laughs> so, i hate it and it was it was not it was, there's ooh. some give and take there you you yeah. decide that's where our, our just, handlers just have pickle like, juice so i guess like they had been running a few different like instagram celebrities and and like other youtubers through kind of this experience over the, like a few weeks and we were probably the fourth or fifth group to come through and i guess they had had some issues with some other of the other groups coming through and kind of being like very much like i'm not going to do anything i don't want to eat anything i'm not going to be weird He's gone. Jack, we lost you. Jack, we lost you entirely, my buddy. 
the stream probably heard him. No, you're back. Oh, it's about five seconds. You're not going to do anything. You're not going to eat everything. Get the you're back. Yeah, <laughs> we, we were. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, Michael's asking us to refresh Vmix, so, yeah. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh no. Oh, no. Here Hang on, go. no, he didn't ask oh. us. Just Jack. Just Lindsay. Jack. Calm yeah, down. Well, I'm I'm he specified in the second message. Oh, my God. All the information was not no, relayed initially. he made perfect sense, <laughs> and you misconstrued it as usual. <laughs> my, uh, my, uh, my every now and then, for some reason, my USB will decide to just refresh. Oh, that am, am I completely gone now? I don't know. No, you're you're, good. I you're here you. for me. All right. Jack, well, I'm gonna... Jack, stay with us, Jack. Yeah, it takes a little bit for chat to catch up. There we go. So, don't go into the light. But oh. yeah, we were very... <laughs> I think we lost Jack. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's a God. gone Jack. Yes. That is a gone Jack. There he yes. is. There it is. That caught up. <laughs> okay, Jack, breathe. Team internet. Yeah. Jack, breathe. Breathe. Blink. Blink, breathe, damn, it. damn it. Breathe in. <laughs> oh, there you go. He's... There he's Jack, he's back. He's back. Oh, there he is. Oh. He's come to life. Oh, my God. Oh, he's barely hanging in there. Oh. Oh. I don't know what's going on. That was funny. That was Thought amazing. I enough, and you were Am brought back. <laughs> We, I, uh, what is going on? The VMix you, is just me frozen in time. You, is what, that we was see for you everyone. Now. You've come back no, now. You're fine for us. You've, You've come back, back now. now. This yeah. is going to be What's the rest of the show. On? Oh, oh man. God. It was a anyway. crazy adventure, though. But, uh, yeah, we were very up for, like, every single thing they asked we wanted to do. And uh, I think almost more importantly, every single food, they were like, do you want to try this? Except Sans one. There was one food I didn't try. I think Sam tried it. The stinky um, tofu. The stinky tofu. Yeah. Um. It's Ooh. a it's a street dish that they have there. Um. Literally just sell it at like, it's it's street food. You know, they just sell it to yeah. little vendors along the road and stuff at the festival. Like little food. carts on the street. Like food, but right. like, <laughs> but um, <laughs> and you know, I was eating like all the stuff that was you know I ate like the century eggs, like those black eggs. Oh that, yeah. Are like super firm. I ate those. I those. I, they had like squids on a stick. I was all about those. Um, but I kept every now and again while we were walking through this festival, I kept being like, you know, I don't want to say anything. This something smells like shit. You know, I didn't want to be like, yeah. I, like literal, literal <laughs> feces. And I was like, I don't want to like, you know, be insulting or anything. Like, I don't want to be like, hey, something smells like shit. But um, we eventually realized that it was. It was certain kiosks were selling this stuff that they call stinky tofu, and it's just fermented tofu, um, I think with a little bit of chili sauce on it. And one of our guys that was there, one of our translators, was loving it. Like he would like take it and eat, and, and I just couldn't, I couldn't mm -hmm. put it in my mouth. Sam tried and like took a bite, and then had to ended up having to spit it out. It is one of the smelliest things, dude. It smells a like a dirty diaper. There's people in chat who are like, stinky tofu is awesome. That's my jam. I'm like, oh, okay. oh right, it try this. smells like a dirty diaper. Literally. Oh, then and it, like, I'm not making that up. Like, you can yeah. smell it from like a block away. It is, it is potent. Yeah, but how's it taste though? You know? I, I don't know. It That's might be really good. Know. Like I've had durian before and I don't think durian's bad. It doesn't taste it's, bad, but it's no. overwhelming. Yeah, yeah, it smells really bad, but it tastes pretty good. And this might be the same thing, but god damn, that smell is mm. like, it nails you. So you definitely oh. strike me as that kind of a person, and I appreciate it, Jeremy. Mm. I'm the same way. Like, if I travel somewhere else, especially outside of the country, I want to experience this this region and this culture. <clears throat> I'm going to leave behind, like, fast food. I don't want to go to McDonald's or anything like that. I want, like, local places or, like, whatever they're doing. I guess I just never understood the mentality of, like, I'm going to travel all this way and then do exactly what I do at home. Like, <laughs> that's just me. I mean, I don't know. It's a comfort to some people. That's the yeah, thing. It is. Own, yeah. But for me, well, I've been to 7-Elevens around the world. I do it all gotta, the time. But you got to be yeah. open to uh, to new experiences and stuff. Exactly. And give, give things a shot. Yeah, I, I get boundaries. I don't know if they're but, showing my yeah. angle, but I'm just frozen on my screen. This is Let's all see I him. see. Let's see, Jack. Let's see, Jack, please. Cut the Jack, please. Frozen I can't or not. show it. He has Maybe important the... data up. Oh, can't show oh. that. What do I have? No, I just made that up. I totally made that down. up. Oh. Okay. No link. Just not oh, no link. anymore. I'm cutting Jack, the link come, out. Come back, Jack. The link is gone. They said we okay. can't show that. But you can cut to me real quick. Oh, oh, that's hey. funny. That's what it looks like. I'm just frozen in time. Okay. I see nothing. <laughs> you can still get nice. the shirt. 
you can still get it. There it I is. just grabbed it. It looks better than this. I mean, it doesn't look much better than this. The dimensions are off, but the shirt is what it looks like. Also comes in white. Just saying, get it now. It does exist. Oh, pick it up. It's, I'm bleeding into the shirt. I'm becoming face jam. Michael, what kind of hat are you wearing? Is that I'm a wearing, pride hat? It sure is. And every oh time I wear it on goodness. this show, you can't see the green. Just imagine there's green. I can't even <laughs> find the hat. There it is. There it is. Imagine there's a green stripe in the middle, but the green screen ruins it. Oh, my face is ruined now. Um, but yeah, there's a, a bunch of new uh, pride uh, clothing apparel that yeah. comes out. I think tomorrow I think it comes mm -hmm. out. I think Fiona uh, tweeted a picture of her modeling a few of the items. There's some shirts. There's I'm gonna, some. I'm gonna pop turn sockets. this off. Uh -huh. So yeah. There we go. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, yeah, I like this hat a lot. It's gone onto my good hat list. I'm very uh, particular about my hats. I don't like a lot of shapes. I don't like hats that are too tall. Like they sit too high on your head. I want to pull them down. Mm -hmm. I like uh, the curved, like, uh, bill of the hat. Very, uh, I'm very picky. You're, you're one of the dudes got, that, like, beats got, up his hats. I, I have hat them. needs. I'm sorry? You, you, like, beat up your hats before you I don't you beat up them. my hat at well, all. You gotta, you gotta slightly shape it up, it, Bend it, you gotta rough it up a little bit. You gotta bend it. You gotta yeah, bend yeah. the hat. I just bend it. And the thing is, you don't have to bend it. A lot of people, Jack, he's not a hat bender. He likes I'm his hat flat. It's a yeah. water bender. I'm, 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 like the, I'm a the, hat bender. I like the flat brims because I have the glasses. Yeah. And if it's bent, it's just like this on my head. Yeah, so I feel you. I have it flat across my, the top of my glasses. Depends on I, the hat. I just prefer the, the hat head. bend. I don't say you have to beat the hat up, though, in any way. I like a clean hat. I don't like dirty hat. And in fact, that's one of my pet peeves is uh, clothing that looks like shit. New. Oh. I hate it. S surprise. I, I hate, love clothes that look like I hate, shit. But it's weird because you just said that I do that, <laughs> but you do that. You like that crap. Where it's like you buy jeans and they're all ripped or like a jacket and it's all ripped up. And then yeah. I go, it's all ripped up. And they say, wait, we made it like that. And I go, I don't want it. It's all ripped up. Some people <laughs> love that shit. I, I have a pair like of it. jeans. It's acid washed, but they're already like pre-ripped. But under the rip, they put like lace to make it kind of look nice. But it's still like ripped jeans. But I've Odd. torn into those pants after wearing them for so long that there's just like one giant hole that goes from the middle of my thigh all the way down. I mean, to my it's ankle. just like it's like it's like she wore a pair of jeans and was mauled by a tiger, and, True. and just goes, <laughs> "I love it." It's like it's like a pant coat it's more like a coat that kind her leg of, is yeah. wearing there's it's no the front. idea of pants there's no you know? front it's just the back of a pant leg that's just that's fashion baby you <laughs> i know guess that's why i'm not that's fashionable just... sell okay? it for double the price so i'm not mm -hmm. fashionable and continuing with the not fashion i've decided to make a stand now Lindsay knows this i've been debating for the last week or two about um cutting my hair First, I was like, man, I want to cut my hair. And she's like, I'll cut your hair. And I'm going to say, no, you won't. Dangerous. It's very dangerous. <laughs> and I said, Stay no, you won't. Stay no, you won't. <laughs> um, and then I thought, but here's what I could do. I could just, like, shave my head. And I mean, not Jeremy shave. wouldn't go bald, but, like, buzz cut. Like, what I did for Extra Life, the, the first one that I was on, like, 2012, 2013. Um, and I was thinking, like, how do I – like, should I film it? Like, I, I have to do something funny if I'm going to do it. Just because – I mean, look at the old man content. You know what I mean? We, we're we're running dry on live action stuff, being trapped at home. And I'm like, I don't know if I shave my head funny. Maybe that's a video. And I was thinking about it, and I didn't commit because the only reason I didn't do it for myself was I didn't want to waste a video. And then I just woke up and I had the total opposite. And I went, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking let it grow. I'm just gonna grow my hair out to like an, another absurd level, even though I hate it. Like I hate I hate when my hair is wild and out of control. But I just thought I'm gonna adopt like a like a a quarantine hair growth and mm. just let it just just let it get silly and see what it looks like by the time we go back to the office in four years yeah michael was joking that he hasn't shaved since we uh were in quarantine this is how long his hair's grown on his face is yeah. that a joke that's or... what you got well no yeah, it's, I don't it's, know. it's 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 he was not joking, but far know. from the joke yeah <laughs> uh, this is like 10 days of not shaving yeah that's so what, yep. watch out know that life you know that you life right you try that's... to grow it out and it's in patches and it's exactly just, that's just like no. that's just like my head you, it's it's just like I your head you. 
you're on the same page as me, Fredo. When people say they're always like, "Why do you like?" We'll do. We'll talk about whatever, like a razor for a sponsor or shaving or whatever. And they go, "You guys don't shave." And it's like, no, we can't grow beards. That doesn't mean we don't shave. So we yeah. don't shave. <laughs> we look like assholes. That's <laughs> just it. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like it's there. It's not. It's like you don't go nothing beard. It's like. You got to take two, two months to get your starter beard going. Exactly. And, go, yeah. and so, yeah. so in addition to that, with not cutting my hair, I went, fuck it. Maybe I'll just do that. I see the hair I can commit because I'll just, it'll, it'll be a pain in the ass to deal with. And I can just put a hat on the face. They'll be like, I'll wake up one day and just be so disgusted that I'll have to shave. It. It'll just, <laughs> it'll just, it'll I'll just like, I'll be like blah, 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 and I'll have to do it. <laughs> Like, I'll let this go. I'll commit. This can, like, get fluffy, and I just love it. And I'm like, yay. But we this. Go, go full Viking. Well, like, right. It. It's yeah. the opposite because that's yeah. the opposite, Jeremy. You can yeah. grow facial hair. Yeah, no, but, I mean, this <laughs> eventually gets to a point where I'm disgusted. Right. And I got to shave it. I'm like, yeah. I can't I can't look at that. Ever. Like, exactly. I, I can look at my bald head, You're... but I don't want to look at my bald head through fucking peep holes in my right. hair. Your bald head <laughs> your bald head is like Fredo and Mai's facial hair where people yeah. will go, just let it grow and see what happens. And you go, oh, you, yeah. I know what happens. I know what happens. It's, it it's doesn't like, show yeah. up to work. It yeah. look, it'll uh, get into like a puby <laughs> stage. The then it's off. like patches oh, and shit no. won't connect properly. And it's oh, just, no. and you don't want to see none it of that. It looks like a globe. You really don't want kind to see of. any of that at all. <laughs> yeah, so, it's awful. Obviously, but you I'm guys just, I don't haven't care dealt with now. it. I I cut my own hair at home now since I've been in our little yeah, but uh, you stay home. Cut but your it hair is like you trim it a little bit. It works for me because like, I just do the part and I do side part all the time. But there's a method that I saw online where people like oh, part man. their hair and then they tie it underneath their chin like a beard, oh, okay. and that brings your hair together. I know I was very attracted to myself for just a minute, and then you trim it at the bottom so that's flat but when you bring your hair back just from the natural fall of your hair it creates like a v shape on your back so it looks much cleaner than just like an ugly like flat line cut you know so i'm like dude i'm never going to the hair salon ever again like i can dye my hair crazy that's blue colors lie. at home and i'm gonna cut it <laughs> no i'm not spending any more money on this. yes you no, will thank you uh -uh. yes no. you will Old choice. Just remember somebody Good. clip this and then i'll <laughs> when i ask for it. it two months from now when Lindsay's at a salon i mean when i eventually fuck my I'll, hair up yes i'll point this up okay so it took you seconds to go back on that ah, so far i'll yeah. never go again like, oh, i'll, I'll never go I again it up. unless i need to then, well, I'll, then yeah. I'll go in a heartbeat. I know. Say this: getting it's getting better for me because the back of my hair is starting to curl, and that's the thing. It's like once the back of my hair starts getting curly, it's like uh oh, uh oh. Mm -hmm. That's hasn't that hasn't happened in a long Jack, time. You know what you can do, Jack? What's Head that? Head on Michael? down to the mall and take care of it tomorrow, baby. Dude, Texas is oh, open. Yeah, we're open for business. Oh, oh I'm gonna go to so Ooh. many clubs. Oh my god! I'm going to the movies. April first. Oh man! Uh, what else? What else? Young first, kids do first. the movie I'm one. Go clubbing. Yeah. The movies. Let's go to the community so well. pool. Everyone hop in. Make sure you got some open wounds. Yeah, the draft house. <laughs> draft house uh, said they're not opening. They're like, yeah, we're not opening. AMC weekend. said it too. I don't think there'll be a single theater open. And this oh, is really? so so so. Uh, Governor Greg Abbott is open in Texas tomorrow, May first. It's it's phase one. It's a hell of a phase one, starting with movie theaters malls and restaurants essentials uh, at at 25 yeah. percent capacity um but the biggest takeaway there was movies and the movie theaters are like we're not opening yeah. and there's alamo like i i read a statement from alamo that was like specifically mentioning just like you know the concern for the safety of customers and like they're not ready to open yet but then they said even when they are going to open like they have to retrain all their employees like any new employees and existing employees because it's obviously it's going to be totally different because when yeah. things do start to reopen it's not just going to be like okay, back to what we were doing. There's like going to be a whole new, you know, like procedures about, you know, cleaning and probably, you know, distance between people and whatever, whatever, like they got to flesh all that out. But then the the real bottom line is like, what, what are movies going to show? There's no movies. Yeah. Like well, apparently, everything, apparently, everything out now is on demand and nothing else is coming out. The, uh, the Russo brothers have said they want to re-release uh, in, uh, Infinity War and Endgame in theaters just to put movies back in theaters. Uh, and that's pretty cool. I, I respect that. Where it's like, oh, yeah, Sign we're going to see up. something. It's like, yeah, I, 100% yeah. I'll go it's see Endgame cool again. It's pretty cool and also but a genius move. You know people are going to flock to something well, like the that. Thing and is, they, they'll the, make more money. The thing about it is like people will flock. But one, you're dealing with limited capacity because then it and then it runs the question. Yeah. You're dealing with a giant business like like theater chains. So even say like AMC, like probably the biggest one there is. Like it's got to cost more money to be open but no one coming than to just be closed, right? Like 
Like if they open the theaters well, and like we're open, we're making the food, we're paying the employees, everybody's coming, but then there's no movies and nobody's coming and they're not selling tickets. Like, but the thing how? is, the thing is too with like AMC theater specifically, you could run an AMC theater with five people if it came down to it. You could literally, you know, you could have one person at the tickets, one person behind concession, one person up in the uh, up in the projector booth, and then like a manager. And then, you know, maybe one other person helped clean. But I mean, like the problem with like the Alamo, which is like the Alamo, that's a restaurant that right. shows me. Yeah. I mean, so like that's a full blown place with, you know, 100 employees and they need those people. You're just, so yeah, to me, it's just like a, ma a fact of like with, with dealing with a restaurant more so than AMC, which is a standard movie theater that's got like, you know, mostly probably frozen food, frozen hot dogs, popcorn, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're dealing with ordering supplies. You know what I mean? Like as far as Al Alamo Draft House, like you're, you're like, purchasing food that you imagine is coming in daily weekly and it's like you're gonna have to move that food you can't just have like food come in and, and sit on it so it's not yeah. just the people it's the inventory yeah. i also don't understand like so, even how restaurants are gonna work they're like okay so it's gonna be a 25 percent capacity to keep people safe because then there will be less people right but then when a bunch of people show up to the restaurant and they go okay well we're full why don't you wait for the next table to open oh just probably go wait over there well, I like imagine they'll do some kind of, of like people. social distancing line type stuff. I mean, if someone's I, I, going to a restaurant now, they don't give a shit already. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I will say like, that. Like, <laughs> yeah. yes, like uh, last night, Katie and I went to Mighty Fine, a burger place here, and they're getting prepped to open. You can tell, and what? they usually have they usually have lots of tables there. They're all lined up. Like we have to go pick up food, but they usually have. Like, a a lot of tables lined up where a lot of people sit and now it's like literally like every like it's like every third table is there and so like there's big gaps in between all the different tables and they're clearly reducing capacity but it's like they're these are these are places getting ready for it like they're, no. they're gonna reopen so i'm going polar opposite like regardless of anything i'm just gonna stay inside forever now i'm not leaving my home well, I don't know about forever. Like Permanently. Like no, yeah. forever, forever. Forever. You heard Go me. full blown Kaczynski. You heard her. <laughs> she didn't stutter. Not know going how. to a salon, not leaving the house. Nope. You guys <laughs> can see me on so Skype. I'm so tempted. And I, like, I am really, really tempted because the thing I, I really miss, I don't really miss going like, to movie theaters that much because I rarely did it to begin with. But like sitting with Kat at a bar, getting like a draft beer and like just talking to Kat and stuff like that, I loved. I like love that. And, you know, I know that stuff's opening now again. I'm like, I could... I could go to BJ's brew house and get like our Jeremiah red just at the bar with cat. And I'm like, but it's so stupid. Like it, like to me, it just seems like such a stupid idea is like, just stay here. Why, yeah. why risk it right yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> you Someone know? in the chat had a great point. They said, see if your governor's office is open for a tour. If it's not, it's not safe to go outside yet. I'm like, yeah, there you go. Well, there the, you the go. thing, the thing is too, I don't know about you guys, but like looking at like my credit card for this month is like, Oh man, I haven't spent any money. Like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing a lot better than you know eating out every every meal and stuff and having food. Like, I still I'm, order I'm, quite a bit of food. My oh, okay. my yeah. food my <laughs> food you. costs have gone down exponentially, but I don't know that it hasn't been offset by my Amazon costs. So <laughs> no, Michael's got time and he's got things to buy. Mm -hmm. Have you guys? Uh, experience the quarantine 15 as people have been calling it or you're just oh, like that, kind of snacking it, oh, my covid 19 there you go. yeah i got there that go. got nice. that in spades no I'm like i'm eating opposite, better than actually. ever which is yeah. crazy because it's like I, all the fast food places are still open like even mcdonald's has a limited menu but it's still open um so i could still go there just as much but i find myself not just sauntering out nearly as much you know what i mean like i'll still go but i would go whenever the hell I wanted. Now it's more of like, I don't really need to go. It's not like, you know what I mean? There's a bit more thought into just leaving the house and interacting with people and just like, as opposed to just, oh, I don't feel like driving there. It's like, eh, you know, don't really need it. I haven't gotten sick yet. Eh, I'll just stay home. My, my biggest, my risk trips are uh, Walmart. That's always like, I'm going in, man. Ooh, Hunker yeah. down, mm -hmm. suit up. Go in, I'll go get to out. Uh, Jack. We have that little corner store just like right near us, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and they're straight up like, if you don't have a mask, you cannot come in this store. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as yeah. every store I, should yeah, be now should. Right. Yeah. until tomorrow. 
Right. Dude. But there's like signs out front, like, do not even try coming in without a mask. Like, don't like, and I love that. So I'll go in, like, I needed milk the other day to cook some something. And I was just like, ah, I can swing over there and grab it. And I did. And it was, it was nice. Everyone had their masks on. The dude at the counters wearing gloves. I'm like, all about it. Mm-hmm. Right. Nice. See, the few times that I go out, same thing like grocery shopping, and while we're there, there was a gas station near our Walmart, so I'm like, hey, we'll refill the car. Cool. That's our run. And recently, I was there filling up, and this woman who was working there, like, it's a little gas station with a little convenience store inside. You can buy, like, small snacks and stuff. She was restocking stuff, including, like, coffee cups that people touch with their hands, Yeah. and she didn't have gloves on, and she was wearing a mask, but it was on her neck, like, no obviously not doing anything and i couldn't help myself i just turned to her and i said hey a mask is fucking worthless if you don't wear it on your face it was ultra cunt i don't care so and then i left and she was like oh how could you i can't believe you said that i was like how could you you?" (laughs) i I think i think i think if you see people that should be a thing if people are in public or wherever wearing masks and they're not covering their nose or they're wearing it around their neck, they should be taken away from them and just sent to like a hospital. Like you don't, not them, the mask. Like, can you go home and <laughs> give me all your masks? Cause people could use them. Right. You're right. actually fucking around. Know how to wear like, them. Yeah. like you're just, you're like, <laughs> it's, it's prop mask is what you're wearing. Right. You know so why I mean? bother? Just take well, it off. Send them it's to the just, gulag and like, have them just, duke it out with other people. Just take it off. Just give it away to somebody who can use it. Well, I, um, last weekend, I don't like shocker shockers. I was at a liquor store and, um, and so like Kat and I were in there, both had our masks on, like from the second we, like, you know, in the car, we had them down, but the second we got out of the car, they were on. In the store, we had them on. There was extremely few people in that store wearing masks. Like, so I know there's the whole order of like wear masks until this date, which I guess is Friday. Um, but like, even still, it's just no one was doing it. Like, we saw very few people actually going for it. I guess they think like there's that mentality of, oh, if I wear a mask, it means that like, I won't get sick because I won't get stuff on me, but that's not really the point of it. Like the whole point of the mask is like, you don't know if you have the virus until after the way later after you get it, because there's no symptoms really early on. And if you have a mask on, you're not giving it to other people. If you happen to have it. Yeah. And it's like, cause you just don't know for a very long time. There have been like, don't give a shit. There've been like diagrams where it's like someone wearing a mask, like how many, like the percentage of them like passing it on. If you're wearing a mask, I saw one yesterday on Reddit where it was, uh, think of it as wearing pants. And if you're not wearing pants and you pee on someone and they're not wearing pants, you're going to get pee all over their leg. But if you're wearing pants and someone pees on you, it'll go, you'll still get some on your leg. But if they're wearing pants and they just pee their pants and you're wearing pants, you're not going to get any pee on your legs. Okay, so it's who's like, wearing you pants? You lost me. You, I need a diagram of whatever the fuck Jack just, just said because I got you're lost. You're saying if, if, you know, if, if you're wearing pants and they're wearing pants, you're probably not going to get piss on your legs. They'll so keep I the piss on their pants. own. Here's the thing I always heard. Plus pee converted to pants. I'm going to find this thing. There's I'll a pee it. and pants it's ratio safe. that you need to know. Uh, that will keep you safe. No, the thing that I always heard that's like a a really good argument for masks when people are like, well, I'm not going to wear a mask because even if I have it, I'm not coughing. And like, I don't have a cough right now. So how am I going to give it to people if I'm not coughing, if I am not wearing a mask? The, the argument that's always made, and it's completely true, is think about yourself if you're outside on a really, really cold day. When you breathe out and there's all that smoke, that is water particles that is moisture coming out of your mouth um that is what's making that mist so imagine that mist in front of you every time you breathe out like you're on a really cold day that is what's coming out of your mouth every single time that you exhale Mm -hmm. no but it's not cold so it's not (laughs) so so you can't get anyone sick jeremy if i can't see it it's not there oh jack is a very Thing. I, just, what I, I do want to do, right now, so. maybe I'll wait till this whole thing is over. What I do want to do is just go out and start peeing on people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, Absolutely pee on people. I just people want now. to point to the diagram and be like, look, I don't know what the hell it was trying to teach me, but it, yeah. gave, it gave me an idea. Piss on a person wearing shorts it. and be like, you should have had pants on. It says, yeah. if we all run around <laughs> naked and someone pees on you, you get wet right away if no one's wearing pants. If you're wearing pants, some pee will get through, but not as much. You're better protected. 
if the guy who who what? pees also is wearing pants, the pee stays with him and you don't get wet. See? Look how Boom. fucking happy the dude who pissed his pants in the third one is. We like, love yeah, goddamn yeah, proud of it. Are there pants or combined. like yeah, baby, pee on me? Jeremy, I can't the, tell. That's the guy who's out on a the... cold day. Now he's warm. Because he pees like, unless you pee on, just pee also, right on me. Just in is case there like a master said, class that I could take from uh, of this? Yeah, yeah, I can show you some videos, Alfredo. Okay. Oh wow. Oh, <laughs> also, in case it needs to be said, don't inject bleach into yourself. No, yeah. I'm not saying don't not do to that. do it. I'm not uh, saying to do it. I'm not saying don't not to drink do it. I'm just staying out of it. Don't do I've any of that. I've cured myself three times. I'm just staying out of it. Just saying, if if you hear that and go like, huh, maybe I should drink some bleach. Maybe you should drink bleach. Stop it, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it, Jack. Yeah. Let me go get some bleach right now. You know, you, look at the pee pee diet. You down there. Saying, you stop it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, if you're at a point in your I life where you, someone says, I, hey, you should drink bleach, and you're like, yeah, all right, I'll drink some bleach. Jesus you're working Christ. your way towards a red card, Jack. I don't the want The only it. good way it's to ingest happen. bleach is by watching it on Crunchyroll today. Oh. Check out Bleach, the anime. Yeah. Is that? Oh. Featuring Johnny and Bosch. By Nirvana. Oh. Bleach. There you go. I'm still like, if so, what if I'm wearing shorts, but they're jorts, so they're thicker? Do you deserve death, jorts? You deserve. What do you want? I mean, just just. Oh what my if, God. Yeah. What if it, you look <laughs> desperate times, desperate measure? You're... Also, sometimes there's like the pants where you could unzip them and they turn into shorts. Ooh, yeah. Zippy, um, yes, we call them zippy doos. No, he's is, right. Is, those were big, is, like in yeah, the mid early I love 2000s. Those. I wore those yeah, not big. Don't just buy your. Well, size. They were big. They were very large, like parachute pants. I'm just. There's so many factors here. The How can you be pants? so against jorts when your jeans are almost jorts? They're jeans right. with no <laughs> pant legs. That's what jorts are. It's true. They're I even have shred. shorts. But... You just have shred legs. Maybe I just hate the word jorts. I mean, it's jorts a bad a word. Stop word. saying it. Yeah. Stop saying it. Jorts. I don't like words that are like these forced combinations of other words. Yeah. <laughs> jorts. I don't like jorts. jorts. I never liked webinar. I was never a big one on that. Webinar. Just call it a fucking seminar. You said it have to be a webinar. On the web, though. Ugh, I, just leave me alone. I hate Damn. it. I saw. We it's, I thought about this morning. I saw a webinar this morning, and I was like, I don't think I want to well, join. The thing, it now. the thing about it is, I don't understand where the web comes in, right? So, uh, so a webinar is a seminar on the internet, but like, yeah. you don't make a name for a seminar like in a building. You know what I mean? Like a seminar is a seminar. Who gives a shit where it is? Yeah, I mean, like if I Wait, watch so a video mean, on YouTube, it's not called like an in-person anar. Yeah, I, I just, if I watch a video on YouTube, I'm watching a video. I'm not watching a video. Like yeah, fucking fuck off. You're just doing yeah. something online. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna with Jeremy. Fuck off and <laughs> pee on people. <laughs> Piss on someone's leg. Yeah, I really got in their jorts right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My least favorite com like combination word, fun employment. Nothing fun about that. Why? What? Yeah, no. That's fun, not too, fun that's not a combination. We're that giving like her two words. We're yeah, giving her unemployment. Two, yeah. <laughs> giving her too much employment? time at home. Yeah. Well, <laughs> giving her that. too much leeway to say what she wants, and this is what she's doing with it. Yep. There Spork, it is. No. Here's the thing. <laughs> Someone said spork. Spork can get away with it. I feel like oh, because it is literally a new thing. Yeah. Okay. All right, spork is like oh. this new fucking thing. It's yeah. not just like I gotta give me one of those, right? It's not a, if if someone taped a fork to a spoon and called it a spork, I'd be like, "Fuck off, go to hell." <laughs> but it's a new thing. I so that, start Jeremy's, duct taping Jeremy's head is building things up. together on Jeremy's desk. I go desk. at I go at cat for webinar a lot. Well, <laughs> I can see where you're coming from, Jeremy, because that's oh. like that's like DBZ logic. Like go tanks is a okay because they did the fusion dance. There were two, and now there's one. Person. Yeah. <laughs> it's very clear. Yeah, All but why roles. are Vegito and Gogeta two different people? Uh, you know, you I mean? guess one of them's on the left and one's on the right, depending on who <laughs> they become. What do you mean? Well, because they're, they're two different ways, Jeremy. Well, then what's the other Gotenks? Troten? Well, there, is, <laughs> there isn't another one, though. <laughs> that's the no, thing. No, it's so. Gotrita. They do, they no, do the sure. dance. <laughs> And that's go tanks, and then and then the other jerk offs they do the dance, and that's mm -hmm. uh I think that's Gogeta is the dance, but then yeah. Vegito are the earrings, so the yeah. earrings make them different. And then they run off they to put find the, the earrings snitch. on. They put the earrings on, and the thing about the earrings are you can never be split apart ever again. You're gonna be stuck like this forever. It's permanent, but they have to do it because they gotta beat Boo. Then they put the earrings on. And then Boo eats them, and they go, oh, that split us up. Oh, weird. Good thing. 
because oh, we committed to, we committed to never being separate people ever again uh and then like one episode later we were separated again that's convenient it's all good oh, they okay. got him though they got him some anyway. vampire diaries logic from what michael's told me podcast Nothing a mixture of broadcast and ipod oh wow that's exclusive really oh i didn't know that yeah Damn, so if you listen if you listen to a podcast on your android jump off a cliff wow <laughs> tell people to drink bleach and jump off cliffs. that's a little <laughs> extreme and well, then guess what the but i'm taking word. notes guess that's what? what you guys said we gotta do you'll be on jeremy's hell list <laughs> oh, you're no. on my hell list what the hell? <laughs> oh Christ. no you're injecting to yourself just Guys, saying. I gotta, I gotta go piss on a leg. I'll be right back. Oh, oh no, he's coming into this Watch room out. too. He's no, gonna go pee on, he's gonna go pee on various pants and yeah. just kind of figure out, you know what I mean, what kind of cloth transitions well, drawer? what slides off. Where are my jorts? Bottom drawer, Where left. They? You don't have jorts. Where are they? I was Where about to say, he better not have Hello? jorts. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Hello. Oh my, oh my god. Are my super ripped jeans in there or no? What happened no, to social not. distancing? Why are they in the same building? <sighs> I thought I thought social dis distancing was like this real big thing, and then families oh, yeah, had no. to split the parents and kids apart. We've been sharing germs for well, forever. These, if you put the kid in a crate and it, you know just leave it there, like it won't really touch anything else. We also left Iris and crate. Luna alone yeah. for two weeks solid, so they've been quarantined. And it won't knock over a tuna melt. They learned to survive by themselves. Yeah. You got well, a backyard, right? Went to that four I shot. Do. Wow. It's out there. He's on the ball. Look it. There's Jack. There's Fredo. All I see right now is the uh, the picture where it says podcast. Oh, really? English. Yeah. My, the, the, our back end. For some reason, ever since my all my stuff went to shit, I've been like having issues seeing everything. So I'm watching the broadcast, which is like a minute behind. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I hope I'm still on camera. Yeah, you are. You're good. You that, look good. That's been that's been the hardest part about um about all of this is like comedy. It requires so much timing, and when you're half second off, my god, that messes up everything. Like right now, Jeff and I are doing the voiceovers for Hardcore Mini Golf, and um, it's just a nightmare because it's it's Jeff on his end, I'm on my end. We both have the video clips of the stuff we're doing the audio for, and then literally, it's like, all right, I'm gonna count down, and it's like three, two, one, play. And then we have to watch a video and know when to start speaking, but we're not near each other. So I'll start talking. And then half a second later, Jeff starts talking. We eat into each other. And it's like, ah, yeah. mm. all right, let's try that again. And it's just, it's, that's been the worst part of all of this is trying to, to do that kind of stuff. Like anything that requires any sort of timing at all is just a nightmare. Yeah. And just, I that's the to, biggest thing. I used to work in news and I've definitely like sympathized more with field reporters when they have that moment where they're awkwardly sitting there waiting to start their segment and you know, there's a delay and they're listening in for their cue, but the yeah. camera's still on them for like five seconds. And they're going, thanks Rob. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. The car accident <laughs> happened right over. Bodies That's everywhere. Right. The car <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's right. The car act. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's that's pretty. Actually, the uh, RT Core put out a short uh, talking about Zoom meetings. That was really funny and pretty accurate. Where it was everyone talking over each other. Like, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go, what, what? Sorry. And then yeah. that's the hardest part of like working from home. It, we yeah. have we have such a good flow when we're in the office of and i know it doesn't seem like it a lot not talking over each other um and it just it's so much harder when we're talking over discord or talking over zoom and stuff like that because there's just that tiny delay where you're already a couple words into your sentence when you realize oh someone's already talking okay let me back out of that one and then they are already backing out of it and then it's all mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm amazed thing. that no one said or like seen anything that we shouldn't say or see. Like, I don't know, someone oh. walk around naked or like someone talk about their personal lives. None of that. It's only like dumb stuff. Like I accidentally left my microphone on as I was brushing my teeth. So someone was like, is that a robot? And I'm like, Mrr. oh, sorry. Turn that off. <laughs> Mute myself. Oh, I just I double <laughs> check every time like I have to Same. have my mic muted or something. Oh, okay. I'm always just like, OK. Oh, yep yep okay it's muted i have okay. two muting things and i do yeah, them both I do. <laughs> every time mute the mic mute me in wherever i am yep like double muted not gonna hear a word we'll there. We'll as i up. beat off Fredo, did you take my alcohol there's people what? in chat saying that you stole something from my frame uh 
I might have like reached over and grabbed something that belongs to me. You take something from my Ooh. universe? Well, there was a bunch of take? there was a bunch of drinks back there. So then I took like a I reached over and I pulled a little bottle. Oh, What'd what you do you get? want? You want a bottle? Oh yeah, you got a bottle? Yeah, yeah. Right. Hang on, I got one of those. Which one can I have? Uh, here what you can you have got? this guy. You can have this guy right here. This unnamed uh drink. Oh yeah, hand, comes, that over, right? hand that over to me, baby. Oh, oh I need a drink. Whoa. 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 There you go. Oh, my oh God. it came, it came, got Whoa. thicker. It got big. It got Whoa, thicker. that's a big oh, bottle. Oh, 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 man. Got that larger. For some not reason. what I handed over. Also, wow, found this. Gonna put it in my fridge. Oh, how long has that been there? Oh, I don't know, man. Uh, Years. Zipper brought it in. Yeah. Man, yes. the, the power of magic. <laughs> power of magic. That's what they say. Power of magic. <laughs> New catchphrase. <laughs> Achievement Hunter, the power I of just, magic. I just don't know anymore, man. Just, it has to say wow in the front. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, I did my, I did my Lego stream this week. That was fun. You yeah. finally did it. Yeah. I did it. Finally, the internet held. It was wild because the internet. I was. I was broadcasting. I was just sending data off to the servers beforehand, going like, "I hope this holds up." And the hour before, when I wasn't on camera, but I was still sending data, I lost connection three times. And I'm like, "All right, you guys have something prepped because there's a good shot. I might go down." And then it held steady the entire hour. I was doing my Lego stuff, which was pretty rad. Um, yeah. So we finished. We finished one section, about a quarter of the uh, the Lego build I was doing. And I'm going to finish that up again. It probably won't be during the Achievement Hunter broadcast time between 1 and 5, but I'll probably end up doing it like late at night, like 8 till whenever we finish at some point, some night. So anyway, yeah, if you we'll, dug it, we'll keep we building. will. Yeah. So that should keep be Building nice. them Legos. There's a lot yeah. of, a lot of, I saw a lot of comments about like the chill vibe stream. But they yeah, just yeah, liked. yeah. Relaxing, Steph, man. Steffi was saying was Building. actually like the... The chat was actually really cool about it, and like everyone was really nice and calm, and it was, it was good. It was it was a different tone, so uh, hopefully you guys dug it, and so we'll find somewhere for it. That's how I feel yeah. when I do like Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing. It's like let's all calm the hell down. Everything's crazy outside. This is a safe place. I'll relax. Do some ASMR with my voice. Let's play. Yeah. Or instead, you can play some new games coming out. <laughs> there's that okay. So we, there's there's two what games I can't wait to play. There's that Kill It with Fire game. We've been talking oh, yeah, about that. that yeah. yeah, you mentioned that. It's a tiny build game. They made uh uh what is it? Secret Neighbor? Is that what it's called? Or is it Hello Neighbor? Well, that is tiny a game. Build, yeah, was, a Secret Neighbor is a game. Yeah. yeah. Secret Neighbor is that it? Okay, I couldn't remember if it was Hello Neighbor or Secret Neighbor. Um. Yeah, Secret Neighbor, they made that. They made, and yeah, Publisher. They made Party Hard, uh, all these games that I really like. But they made this game where it's just like, there are spiders in your house and you got to kill them, but you're equipped with like machine guns and flamethrowers yes. and like all these different things to As kill the spiders be. in your house, which is awesome. And there's another game coming out called Maneater, which we should look into because oh. it's fucking like, stupid like you play, oh, as, a cougar. You play, you play as a cougar or no you play as a shark you play as a shark in the end game about my life like, it's all about I, I don't know like leveling yourself it's like a shark simulator okay. and when i was watching it i was like oh okay like you're actually i was watching them like eat fish and like move around and stuff like that and like you know go up to the surface get the fin up there and stuff like that and i'm like Oh, you're actually like a shark and have missions and stuff like that. And all of a sudden he jumps onto the beach and the shark starts flopping around and eating people off the beach awesome. and like it's fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> Saw a movie about that once. Oh, it's so good. It's like playing a Sharknado movie, is like exactly what it looks like. Awesome. And there's like boss battles and you know, like dodge the barracuda and get a hit in there. It's oh man. We Lindsay, gotta play is... man eater. Lindsay just sent me a photo. Is that yeah. in your house right now? Was, no, it's not in my house. I was going to say, speaking of like creepy crawlies, uh, my family just got a new house nearby to be closer to the grandkids whenever uh, the stay at home orders finally lift, which I guess is now. Um, and they sent me a picture and they're like, hey, we have a house guest and it's like a huge ass scorpion just hanging out. And uh, Jack, I don't know no. if you can pop it up on your screen real quick because I'm on a surface. Uh, give me two seconds. I can, it I can looks make that like happen. it's probably. Five inches long, six. Oh, it looks bigger than that. Yeah, it's pretty big. Big boy spider. It's a big. It's no, a scorpion. It's a scorpion. Scorpion. Which, I wasn't listening. Yeah. Based on scorpion okay. rules, allegedly the bigger it is, the less like toxic it is. I guess because it's poison sting. I think right? so. Yeah, but the smaller ones are the ones that'll kill you. That's like you're you're fucked. Oh shit! So if it's a yeah. big one, it's a chill homie. 
Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. it's a big it's one. A That's a pet. Okay. Yeah. You go, oh, what okay. up? The tiny what? one's yeah, What up, little man? All right, I'll see you, you. see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> what up, little man? That is, yeah, it isn't always true, but yeah, that is a general rule. rule Smaller thumb, the scorpion, yeah. the more dangerous it is. Yeah, but like, I mean, of course, there's like some scorpion in the fucking Amazon that is big and also will kill you and things like that. I think it's it's saying like things that you'll run into on a daily basis because we have a lot of insects down here that got venom in it and are like generally known as dangerous, like scorpions and tarantulas and. We've mm-hmm. got like Texas even has those giant centipedes, the desert centipedes and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. All of which are venomous and can bite you or sting you. But most of them are kind of akin to like a bee sting. Um, allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. But I, mean, I, I mean, no personal experience. Allegedly. But yeah. Here's the thing. <laughs> Any of those could kill you if you have a if you uh, have a allergic reaction to it. That's the thing with venom is like mm-hmm. everyone reacts differently to it. But um, for the most part, mo- like. There's not a lot of things down here insect-wise that's gonna kill you. Now, I guess I we can. Yeah, oh, there it look is. Look at that hey, big boy! No, bro, get that eagle the, boy. Yep. Wow, that was the little guy you were just yep. talking about. That's a that's door a, frame. Hey, so that's yeah. a Damn. big motherfucker. Sweet. Yeah, it's nah. hard to tell without like context, I, I think, but I think it's bigger than five inches. I think I fought that thing in Assassin's Origins. Yeah, yeah, it won. Oh, yeah. dude, that's, that's the in DLC. their house. <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, we've awesome. had we've had scorpions before. Like, I know Ashley Jenkins was saying I one haven't. time she was in a bath, uh, just like late at night, hanging out, trying to relax, and one fell from the ceiling into oh. her bath with her. I was like, "Fuck, fuck no, that. hell yeah!" Just trying to so wait, chill. that was in your that was in your yeah. parents' house or something. Yeah, yeah. Did, did yeah. they make it out alive? Yeah, I think so. I think they're okay. Probably, dude. That's oh, that's sh- the the new homie. My nah, that's nah. the guard dog. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like I, a, I thought we'd be homies, but that's just terrifying. Fred, remember the 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 uh, crickets? I was gonna say cockroaches. They weren't even cockroaches. Dude, they were the, no, crickets. crickets. The battle of my life that night, dude. You were fighting, and then uh, watching the whole thing. That one spider right behind you. That motherfucker. There was, was one just spider chilling. watching, and was he was terrifying. sending his horde of crickets after Alfredo. Just he late at night, spider, chilling in the hot out. tub, and all of a sudden, crickets jumping, hit me in the face, left and right. <laughs> Freaking me the fuck out. Spider, big ass Fredo spider, huge ass fucking web back behind me, trying Texas, to fucking y'all. lure me in and eat me alive. It was terrifying. It was a fight for my life. I got smacked in the face like 10 times Dude, by some so crickets. So many crickets just leapt at you, and Freddy was, would just scream and then was, turn around and look at a spider that was like a so couple I, feet above and behind, oh yeah. like, uh, like on the awning of a back porch. And then See, out of nowhere, Fredo would just get like a burst of confidence and just splash water at the spot. Yeah, we're like, Fredo, like, stop. what are you doing? I had yes. to let the motherfucker He's know watching, I'm real. He's watching me, and then another cricket would jump in his face. Dude, it was. Uh, See, was, I love I when, don't know, man. I'm not a deal with that. It was. I love when Fredo visits uh, my family's old house. They have a new one now with the new scorpion, but the old place we also had a bunch of creepy crawlies. That was in every the time of they. Nowhere. Yeah, it was in the middle of uh, pretty close to Waco, actually. So a lot more hill country. Uh, but when Fredo visited, like my dad, he's kind of like, I guess he's like a wannabe Steve Irwin. Like he'll come over and be like, oh, check out nice. this spider. Like, look at this. I'm like, that's, that'll he's, fuck he's, you he's up. He's nature. He's nature. <laughs> yeah. He's all about yeah. the nature and the, the animals and, and, and creatures right. and plants so and whatnot. He'd pull over Alfredo and he's like, check out this black widow. Let's get like really close to it. And Fredo's like, no, well, like I do yeah. not with him, do I that. feel a little safer because I feel like he knows. You know what I mean? I got like a no, barrier. You, no. Yeah, no, you do. No. But like you behind do. him, I'm like, oh shit, that motherfucker looks. That, that little damn, he's wild. Look at that little thing. <laughs> shit. <laughs> It was a uh, good, like, I guess, life lesson for being a Texan. I remember vividly as a kid. I dealt um, with rats. We have mm, we had some. But not too many. We also have roaches mice. and then like yeah, yeah it's creepy collies yeah, and snakes. So growing up, uh, I think I was probably like six, six or seven ish. I remember my parents were like, "Don't go outside right now. There's a big rattlesnake on the porch. It's coming up for food." And we called someone to take care we're of it. We're gonna feed it. Well, yeah, right. <laughs> You're Get next. out there. Yeah, don't be a shit kid, or we'll feed it to you. But uh, they're like, we called someone to take care of it, but we, it's like also kind of, I guess, Texan rules is like, we'll just kind of take care of it ourselves. And my dad had to like, I guess, go into dad mode. And he was like, well, I got to protect the family. So he's like, Lindsay, come watch this. And he took a shovel watch and just this. straight up, like fought the snake. And the snake was like oh, rearing no. back. And he went 
and decapitated it real quick. And yeah. then he handed me the shovel and he went, that's how you get it done. I was like, he's like, okay. that's how you get her done. Dude, yeah. I would call someone, Holy shit. I'd call someone and then wait for two weeks for them to show up. I'd be like, listen, they said they're coming. I'll just wait. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> when you just check your phone, you find a realtor and be like, all right, we need to move. Um, yeah. I need the a new snakes house. know where we live. I yeah, I ain't dealing with snakes that. Snakes I don't know what I would do. Porch. If, if there was a do. rattlesnake in my yard, right? Like, I'm trying to think what I would do. Because, like, I would call someone and be like, hey, can you come get the rattlesnake? But, like, I love snakes. And so mm. it's like, I, I don't want to hurt the snake. Because I, I really, really, really like snakes. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, also at the same point, I know that I'm not in a position to fuck with a rattlesnake. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, you can't be no them. bitch about it though. You gotta let them know you're for real, you know. <laughs> okay, Fredo. <laughs> saying, yeah, you know sure, saying? man. Inside, inside, you might be trembling, but you gotta let that motherfucker know you oh, strapped. You know what okay. I'm saying? It's <laughs> like, like to yeah. imagine strapped. You pull Alfredo out. does like cross uh, intimidation, so Weird. the rattlesnake starts shaking. Alfredo starts twerking. He's yeah, like, shake my ass too. Yeah, you I'm not might be you. scared, but that's why you gotta, you know, at a distance, Clap you pull out your gat, and you're just like, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, what that's are you, what you talking do. about? That's bitch. how you. That's the snakes know at that point. That's oh, you gotta, you gotta pull, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch. The snakes back like, oh shit, he's Mama, serious. Back the fuck yeah, up. then I'll the snakes serious. gonna pull out his gun. <laughs> Dude, that's whole, over. Whole that's why you gotta make sure you got a bulletproof vest. You, you gotta make like sure the sense. snake isn't holding. <laughs> Alfred, have sir, you seen the video me, of the sir. dude who's, who comes in? <laughs> it's a fake rat that you gotta he make superimposes. Sure you got a bulletproof apartment. vest. You end up like 50 Cent. You get shot by a uh, snake like eight times. Oh, wow. Yeah. God. That's brutal. What was, what was that, Lindsay? I was saying, have you seen the, oh, shit, it's a rat dude? He has a multiple multiple videos, but it's just a dude who comes into his apartment and he superimposes like a rat or a spider on his floor. And that's basically it. He comes in, he's like, oh, shit, a rat. And he's like, trying to fight it but never actually hitting it and kind of like intimidating it and he just goes for like five minutes and it's so entertaining to watch this dude here you described so fredo <laughs> yeah pretty snake, much we just dude. did <laughs> i just you know i'm scared on the inside but on the outside i'm ready yeah <laughs> i spend a lot of when when cat and i go hiking i spend a lot of it like looking for snakes and and shit and i catch lizards sometimes Cause she's got her camera with like the macro lens on it and so i want her to like get pictures of them because i'm like they're really goddamn cool um but goddamn there's sometimes that i think to myself i'm like wandering through the woods somewhere and i'm like where's that fucking rattle like if i like if i hear a rattle am i actually gonna continue forward or am i gonna go well time to fuck off <laughs> yeah. yeah you know I mean, what? to be Never fair mind. as like a species thank you rattlesnakes for warning right. us because some snakes don't they're like copperheads they're like fucking oh cool you're in my territory how uh, copperheads are awful <laughs> they just sit in the leaves and they're like i am a leaf and as soon as they're like <laughs> maybe i'm not a leaf they bite you whoa do you think Jack, they are i sent you a link to yeah. incognito man do you think that the snakes think they're leaves like for a second like they forget and they're like no, i am a leaf go, oh I love yeah, that's right i mean go, even wait a minute do that. wait a minute i'm not a leaf at all that's snake can be whatever go, it wants I, to be yeah like even rattlesnakes are like i am i am grass or like well not grass but like they're like i am twigs and then as soon as they realize oh maybe they're seeing through this then they start rattling so sometimes oh, it's yeah. closer than you think they're like what's that thing oh yeah i'm gonna bite it right there you go they go uh, back the fuck up. Do it, Jack. Yeah. I don't know. It won't have sound. Oh, what's this? But, uh, what's this? Oh, no, this is the rat video the Lindsay sound. was talking oh. about. <laughs> Literally like just a, like a CGI oh, rat. fucking <laughs> love it. He just keeps going, oh, Dude, rat. Dude, I already There's know. Oh, yeah, I'll be like, oh, here. hell no. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you little small bitch. Yeah, you little yes. rat bitch. Look at him. <laughs> yes. Fred is providing the commentary that. I mean, he's not absolute. wrong. That's exactly what the video is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember, oh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta I, do I that remember move. you watching this. What? Where he's, uh, like, I've seen this from Lindsay yeah. watching shit like this, where he almost what? punches the yeah, rat. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta do the whole jump in, jump out move just to let him know that, like, you might, you might be down to get, you know, just get to some. let him know. Just to let him know. We want to give the rat a warning. Give him a yellow card before you go right to the red. Yeah. yeah we right. got to see what's up. Yeah. Let him know you're for real. <laughs> we should probably wrap up here shortly. Probably I should. Know, I don't It'll know how to rats. go on from that. Screaming oh, shit. Baby. A cat. Oh. Um, 
man what a wild ride yeah uh thanks for everybody watching on rttv if you're watching this live uh rttv every day seven days a week uh you know morning night all that stuff uh mm -hmm. central it's right now it's almost 4 30 coming up at five inside gaming it's gonna be playing some red dead 2 that's what i'm being told better hold Ooh. them to it you better play it uh and then later later tonight um is uh the that new talk show fiona's doing with iffy i think Ooh. i guess it's like a talk show they're like they're doing like talk show stuff through different video games and then last week they did um animal crossing i don't know if they're doing a different mm -hmm. game today or they're doing another animal crossing um but that's at seven tonight uh and then just check the uh check the yeah oh i'm confirmation uh effing around is the name of the show effing around with iffy iffy and fiona uh scary nice. games tonight they're doing a scary game Ooh. i saw the like conversation between them talking about it because i i know fiona for sure is much like fredo very tough and loves scary yeah, games. fiona's super brave um so you yeah, know that's seven o'clock tonight i'm gonna check that out but check the schedule stuff seven days a week Chima Hunters stream in Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We got off topic on Thursdays uh, morning. Yeah, morning. keeping the lights on on Saturday. Keeping the lights on on this Saturday. Special with guest with Jack Daniel and Fabello. Jeff. Oh, oh. Yeah, Daniel Fabello. But and then uh, we, got, we got a couple other big ones coming. Just all kinds of stuff. Live gameplay podcasts. Check it out. And uh, you know, if you're a first member or you want to sign up to be a first member, Last Laugh coming out every Monday. No idea. Another uh, No Idea IKEA. The thing is, like, it's called No Idea Ikea, right? Because it's That's, Adam and... It's and just called No Idea. No Idea. Yeah. Maybe it's called No Idea Ikea. They just, they're like, leave that part out. Oh, yeah. That's what, the, that's what everybody calls it, but it's called the, No Idea. Uh, the A, E, K, and I are silent. The Ikea is just what you tell your friends, but you don't put it in, in the title. Because they go, whoa, we don't, we don't know what that is at all. It's yeah. No Idea where they build stuff without... Um, directions or instructions or blindfolded or whatever they're doing for a spe specific episode but all kinds of first shows check them out thanks for watching um you know thank you but also you should be a little ashamed of yourself for ruining the print shop uh <laughs> trying we're trying to get them back up and running you know maybe i'll Working have an update for you next week i don't know um who's to say i don't what are we what are we gonna do it's only going to get weirder from here, right? What are we? Gonna I can't do? imagine yeah. we're going to normalize. Um, chat, get, thanks get, for watching, guys. Strange. I'll see you. I'll see you all at my party tomorrow. Oh it's yeah, going to be yeah. awesome. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, Fredo, I'll bring a rat so you can fight it. It's yep. a BYOB. And, uh, bring your own bleach. We'll just rat. we're just going to watch a movie that's bleach not shots, playing. Man, all around. Ble Ooh, doing bleachies? You want to yeah, do some bleachies? Oh, oh yeah, I'm yeah, down, yeah, dude. Mm. Mm. Bleach bomb, bleach bombs—they call them. Bleach, 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 you drop them into a root beer.